reconnect. <laughs> Are we live? We're, 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 re, we're, re, we're reconnected, man. We back. Episode 59? 32. Where the fuck did I get 59? Oh, that's because I just. Stokes age. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I got 59 because I just did Trev's. Uh, out of focus Boo, and I think that that was <laughs> <laughs> I just did the out of focus Bro, can y'all niggas just squabble up already like damn I don't, see I don't think they got an actual problem that's the funny thing no though. yeah they're I'm just, just fucking around they're just trolling but I'm still confused about Trev's whole call out a month ago or two months ago what do you mean What do you, remember we, we no. talked about it on here I don't remember we talked about love wait, oh you say he'll beat you up in a boxing match Is that oh yeah he wanted a box or some shit Let like you see that. those guns again Bro, I don't want to get demonetized right now. <laughs> you, you're good at that. No, I know. Yeah, that's, that's my specialty, dude. Just, we, we, we just had a whole long, de not long, but we just had a demonet demonetization combo right now before Demon we started. Bro, speaking of demonetization, uh, you know what's funny is a shout to Kev. I linked up with this dude, um, Kev. I'm sure you you've heard of this dude before. He's like uh -huh. been on Instagram, YouTube for a long time. But okay. I linked up with him yesterday, and we were like talking about YouTube and shit, and like you know demonetization. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he was like, "What's going on with your channel?" I told him I was like. Both my channels are demonetized, and I haven't even looked because it's demonetized, right? Mm -hmm. I looked at my analytics, and it tells you like your potential revenue for the month, and my mm -hmm. shit says minus three dollars and sixty-one cents. How I did owe, you get to the money? <laughs> I owe YouTube money because <laughs> I don't know why. That's crazy. But he was like looking at that shit, and he was like, "Dude, he's like in my ten years of being on YouTube, and I've he's never worked. Seen this. He's worked with like Chris Chan, Danny Duncan, all these Shut people. The fuck. He's like, he's like, I'm. He's like, I've seen zero, but he's like, I've never seen negative." <laughs> Negative three dollars on that's the, crazy. On they was shit. like, they're like, nah, we need, we need our three back. They're like, actually, we sick of your shit. We need, <laughs> we need three out this shit. They're like, actually, nigga, we about to get it back in blood. Nigga, we need our bread back, I man. Know, for real, they're gonna fuck me up, bro. Sure. That is crazy, and like, bro, just figuring, figuring all this shit out is like fucking insane, bro. Like that, that first stream that I did with Brooks. Shout out to Hollow Brooks, shout man. Shout out Hollow Brooks. That first stream that I did with Brooks, where I'm still trying to figure out how to get this shit to clear, bro. But like, I don't know. We'll we'll talk about that after. But like, yeah, man, fucking let's 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 address the elephant in the room, man. Our, our boy Blazzy, he has some uh, he has some personal shit he had yeah. to go deal with. Yeah. So yeah. he had to get loose one time. So it's just gonna be the boys, man. Yeah, the, the boys is here, but man, shout out Blazzy, man. Exactly. Yeah. Shout, shout out to Blazzy. Shout out to Blazzy. Still. Uh, allowing, allowing us, us to, to use, the, use yeah. the fucking studio here because there's literally no one here. There's nobody here, but yeah. we're the only ones. We're like, it like, Look at this, bitch. Hey, you're what the uh, whole girl pits the court at, Etsy. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> fucking E, where you at? <laughs> Uh, Nate, shit. I don't know. Uh, Blasi did leave. It a is personal. <laughs> Blasi <laughs> left us a text saying, uh, uh, "Treat the office with respect." And we're just. I think screaming. that was directed towards house fun. Why was that? Because you throw stuff. What did I throw? What are you talking Vapes, about? Vapes, juices. <laughs> you, do be, you do have the smoothies. You do, be you do be throwing shit all the time. Ass. Oh man. Yo, what? pause, bro. I, I bet you there's at least. Can four. we? Can we? Can we get through this episode without making it super like pause? That's hard. One time, took. That's yeah, just once. Cool. You just gotta once. tell him that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess all of us. <laughs> I know. We're, the three, we're the three we're the three pause offenders I guess, I guess all of us is crazy I forgot uh, who it was uh, specifically but when, when we were in London and uh, Amsterdam there was like a couple dudes on the street I was like fucking with on stream and I would be like saying like pause shit yeah. and they would just look at me like you what, mate? Like you know, like what? You the what? Fuck? Yeah, exactly. Like they would not. They did not think it was funny at all. They were like, bro, bro chill out. I think that. you what, mate, is like literally the funniest phrase yeah, that the was whole crazy. entire trip, bro. bro. We were saying that shit the whole entire trip. You said you said you were just like trolling people on the street. Well, you know, not specifically, but like with some dudes, you know, I'd be like, you know, saying certain shit. And then what I'd you gonna do if one of them just really beat your ass one time? Like, now Yuri would love that actually. He was yeah. like, fuck, my stream's going crazy. Yeah, yeah, show them guns. There's like bro. nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> but bro, you know what's funny? It's you all, think Tug would have helped you if you would have got packed? In of London? course. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Depending on how on his uh, drunken uh, drunk. level. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I know. I would. I know. I'd been so drunk. I would have fired on myself. Bro, I was literally like. I know you just saw yourself. Out <laughs> the of words were coming out of my mouth as you said that. That's too funny. Bro, nah, the, the, the show would have fired on some shit. The trip was so funny because it's like you really see like you know Toke's progression into drunkenness and like and then at, cer <laughs> at a certain point throughout the day, every day he's he's like. I gotta go, like, like lay he, down. He gotta like, go tap out. Yeah, right? he, like he taps out at some point yeah. and then wakes up like nothing ever happened. Yeah, like, he just back, back to, to normal. Him, back to 100. He's just like, <laughs> oh, yeah, where's an ice cold beer? Let's go. And you're Let's just like, get it. That's the one thing about him that I always respect is that, yeah, he could just bounce back like nothing ever happened. And <laughs> he'll you fucking. Never, you don't ever go like, 
Damn, I don't want to get that yeah, drunk anymore. Yeah, like he's like, you know what? Today, I don't know. Maybe I'll just take a little break. Like, nah, that nigga said none of that. Man, yeah, I'm back. I'm back, like, bro. I'm back up, hey, bro. Even my mom. I even I didn't say this on stream yet, but my mom. Your mom. She picked up uh, Riley and I from the airport, and uh, when we were like, you know, driving back home, um, she was like talking. We were like talking about the trip and shit, and she, she was like watching it on stream. Jesus. And she was like, she was like, your friend, he, all he drinks is beer. <laughs> and I was like, bro. I know. Tell me about it. She's like, she's like, he drinks too much. Uh, like, yeah. uh, and I was like, try telling him that. I was like, I don't know what you could do. Bro, listen, mom. Listen. Speaking this, of which. <laughs> Speaking oh of my which, god. I was like, dude, I was like, mom. I was like, you don't get it. He wakes up at five in the morning and, and cracks, cracks open, open a beer. beer. And she's like, what about his liver? And I was like, I don't think he. What cares. about his liver? I don't, I don't at, know, this, dude. at this point. Like I don't think he cares But you know what would be crazy It would be crazy If he ends up Outliving all of us And then just continue To drink beer Every Just I've, for like 90 years I've seen so many Examples of it In not my immediate Well yeah. my immediate family too But like just in, in Russia And like my village And shit is like mm -hmm. There's the dudes Who like are known as The village fuck ups Who are just drinking beer All day Every day Getting shit faced On the corner And then Next thing you know, it's like they're, you know, 80 years old, still there. And you're like, still having a good time. <laughs> see? And when you could have been having that good time now, the whole, whole time, 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 instead of niggas, y'all niggas over there politicking on the good time. <laughs> but, sometimes, sometimes you got to just dive right into the good times, <laughs> oh bro. God. Let the good times roll. That's, that's where I agree with, like, when Ass Pizza came on uh, 10 Talks, he was saying, uh -huh. like, you know, and I agree with this. Uh, it's not like he came up with this. A lot of people have said, said this before, but, like, yeah. stress causes all sickness. You know what I mean? Like, and I if, felt that. If you're, on good, if you're on good time mode, all day, every day. It's if you're like, just if you're just talking, you just don't give a fuck, and you and you got a a, a flat tire, gr fucking glue just, to your hand, just just to have a great time all the time, man. It's nothing. It's nothing wrong with that. You feel me? Listen, happiness is the best medicine, bro. Bro, that's a fact, bro. Say that though. That's a fact. god damn. This some rapper weed, nigga. This shit. <laughs> I took I took one hit of this shit. I'm like, this shit tastes different. Oh god, you got to get a chaser for that shit. That shit, <laughs> nigga. That shit smacked me in the throat. Pause, bro. <laughs> I just said let's not have a let's not have a pausable episode. Yeah, I know, bro. You just, and you said the first shit. I didn't even mean to, bro. But it, like, this shit tastes like a McDonald's Sprite, bro. I hit that shit once and it just boom, bow, bow, like. Yeah, hey, now nah, you know it's crazy. I had McDonald's Sprite yesterday. And What'd you get? What was your order? No, I just only got the Sprite because I had you just pulled ate. up. You pulled up to McDonald's through the drive-through. Well, but Ali, but Ali and Horizon was getting some food, and I was just like, I just need a Sprite, and I forgot how bad like the Sprite could beat your ass, like. Because you know what it is, their shit's not coming like from a pouch or nothing like that. It's actually coming from like a. They got like a tank or some shit like that. Shit, shit feel like it coming from a Sprite Mountain. Like, oh, that's exactly what it is. What up, Riley? What up, Riley? No, it's definitely coming from like some special ass shit. Like, it's not just it's not just a regular like you know like the regular thing is like the syrup is in like a like a little plastic pouch. And oh they yeah, mix yeah, it with yeah. Carbonated water. No, they got a whole different McDonald's method. So that that's why it's so crisp and where. Uh, and yeah. McDonald's, like we talking about how the Sprite is like uh, okay, super crispy, okay. yeah, or like just the Coke, anything in general. Like uh, the the sodas are just like they get their own syrup and shit. Well, it's not it's not a syrup. It's like they have a whole different process than uh, I guess regular. Yeah, but no, we're, I was saying that that fucking joint was like was like a fucking sip of McDonald's Sprite. That shit was crispy, <laughs> bro. You know you know it's crazy. I went to go link up with Big Chief yesterday, right? And I brought Shout my out Big, Big Chief. Chief. Shout out to Big Chief. I brought my own weed with me, right? That I got from the shop. And then we're like, I, I literally kicked it for like four or five hours yesterday, but yeah. I was like posted up there. Roll, I was uh, rolling up my first joint. And then uh, the chief comes up to me, like looks at the weed and he's just like, yo, uh, where'd you get that? And I was like, oh, a shop, blah, blah. Yeah. He's like, yo. Um, That's some bullshit. He's like, my bad, dude, but let me throw that away. And he, like, he just like literally <laughs> takes my weed, throws it away, yeah, and then just... replaces it with like, you know, other better weed. Some but rapper he, weed. He really did not want me smoking that weed because he's just like, <clears> nah. Like I don't fuck, I don't fuck with that shit. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's like, like, bro, nah, let me give you some. Uh, he's like, bro, this big chief, big chief only. Bro, what was, were you doing there? Like, what, what was your plan? Well, I, I, you um, shout to Pizza Brian. I recently met him, and I was inspired to um, basically like try to recreate one of his videos via live stream, where I go go out in the streets, think of challenges, and I actually wanted to do the. <clears throat> have you seen the World Start Hip Hop questions, where they ask really simple questions and make people seem like kind of like dumb yeah. or silly, yeah, yeah. like how many states are in the United States or some shit like that? And people can't answer it, so I want to think. That's of crazy. Speaking of which, you ever seen that girl? Sorry to cut you off. No, you ever good, seen that good. girl? Was she was like when they were like, how many states is in the United States? She's like. 
13 colonies, so goddamn 47. You know, you <laughs> I never, think I did see that shit. That yeah. shit is so people funny. People in the shower are saying it's scripted, it's fake. I'm like, I don't nah, think so. I think There's no just way. really fucking stupid. But I want to think of like questions. If people can answer five correct questions, I give them a cart. So I went to go big, to Big Chief to like pitch this oh, idea. Wow. They said, shout out to them, bro. They, every time I hit them up with, uh, with an idea, they're like, let's go. And they give me fucking, you know, a giant a bag of whatever the fuck I need. Yeah. So they were down to do that. And then I, while I was there for like four or five hours, we were just like sitting in a circle smoking, just thinking of a bunch of stream ideas and we came up with a couple other ones as well that they want to like help out with uh, that's with, fire uh, with, so it's gonna be that's super fire sick. man shout out to big chief yeah shout out to big chief shout out big chief man for real i was also gonna say though about our uh london amsterdam trip one of the like funniest things like because we learned i learned so much you yeah. know by being out there but you know we discovered the phrase you what mate maybe yeah. i came up with it it's kind of like i assume pressing words when like, you're it's kind of like nigga what would yeah, you say yeah, yeah exactly but it's like the <laughs> london version so when we went to amsterdam aka the netherlands and holland I was asking people, what's your version of like, you know, pressing a dude like you won't made out here. And they're all telling me that th they don't really have that. What they do out there is they literally attack you with uh, oh. diseases. They yeah. will say, excuse me, they'll say, fuck yeah. you. Uh, your parents uh, are going to die of cancer and you're never going to have children. Like they yeah, say they shit like that. Crazy shit like that. And yeah. uh, I was talking to this, uh, this dude who uh, one of the owners. Of I like this the effort. Uh, one of the owners of this company, Georgie. Um, also, he's from he grew up in Holland. He told yeah. me he's like. He's like, I'm on my way to work today. Some dude bumped me, bumped into me on the bus. He turned around and said, "Fuck you! I hope your mom dies of cancer." And then walked away. Mm. And he's like, "That's just how people talk out there." I'm like, "Bro, it's so crazy." You know what yeah. I mean? They seem clearly so niggas nice. is not getting smacked up out there. <laughs> yeah. They, because, well, they like, said that like they don't really fight out there. He's like, "Yeah, you know, the young kids will probably like you know fade and shit like sometimes." But yeah. he's like, "It's really fighting is not a part of the culture. They just talk shit like mad shit out there." Nah, I could probably get along there. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to go out there and talk shit. You'd have to speak Dutch though. Shit's confusing. I'll so learn it. I'll, I'll learn it just to really shit talk. It's really off-putting. Like it's literally not. It doesn't sound like anything else, bro. It's really like okay, wait, sure. okay, wait, wait, wait. Bef before you even get into that, so like, where did y'all start this trip off at? Like, well, who who came up with this plan? Like, who was just like, all right, we going? Let's um, go. shit, we was already we already had the we already had our trip booked. We were going to Paris first, and then mm. we we're going to London. And then uh, we had told them, like, yo, you guys, should, you know, because they fuck with London. We were like, oh, you should you be. You and Ali told Tolkien and Riley. Uh, well, uh, I mean, uh, well, yeah, a while Yuri ago, because remember when I went to Greece, I stopped by uh, London for a day and I saw oh, Chapel yeah. Ross. And yeah. when Riley and I were there for a day, I've been saying, like, I want to go back there and spend a week there. So we've been planning to, uh, to do that. We found out that um, Paolo and Ali were going to be out there as well. So we were like, oh, fuck, it would be so sick if we could unite, you know, and, like, and meet up out there. Um, and I started the dollar minute. I was like, if we hit this day, we're gonna go to London. So we ended up like hitting it, and we went to uh, to London to meet up with them. But wait, so you were you were on the dollar minute stream before you got to London? Yeah, so you yeah. were streaming the whole for on like the way four there. days or five. Shout days. Shout out Harmonious Gang. They let you yeah. stream in the airport? No, no, I didn't. No, no, no I no, ended no. the stream before oh. the airport. Like nah, that. bro, that would have that's dangerous. Yeah, bro. fuck no. That's man. what I was thinking. I was no, like, I'm doing that. I was like, they're gonna Joe audience. They would have called the flight and said you was like, yeah. I was scared to take the train and shit, dude. Like I was like, bro, I don't know what the fuck could happen, but. Um, yeah, we, uh, Riley and I ended up going there and we spent three, four, three full days by ourselves. And on the fourth day, at the end of the day, Paolo and Ali ended up coming through and we yeah. like linked up. Cause we went to Paris first for three days. Okay. And that shit was sick as hell, dude. Yeah. yeah I was going to say, what, what was y'all favorite parts about being in Paris specifically? Like, or, or London. London first. Yeah. Okay. My bad. What was um, it? shit. I want to say, I think Camden town was like the dopest part to me. Yeah. Camden was sick. What what made it like stand out from the other parts? It, it was just like more like uh, it, it was kind of more like laid back. Like nobody really gave a fuck. It's like there. the young person's town. That's okay. where you see all the tattoos. Yeah. And it was the like the Venice smoking. Beach of yeah. the London. Venice Beach of London is yeah, so basically. funny. But in general, like my favorite part for sure is like <clears throat> here in LA, our streets are so wide. Everything's wide and like so separate. Like to walk on the street, it's kind of like out of pocket, a little weird. You gotta be like either. In a, you know, you got to do it, or you got to be like a weird homeless person walking the street, yeah, right? In yeah. London, everything's so compressed. The streets are so compressed. It's like cars are like squeezing right past each other. People are like flooding into the streets. It's kind of like so compact. It's over really there, you know? close, yeah. Because if you like deadass, if you <laughs> fart on this side of the street, they're smelling <laughs> it on this side. <laughs> off rip, like your, off rip. It's like your no. comparisons are fucking jokes. <laughs> no, but I'm deadass though. Like. If you like, if you you fart over here, and if it's a stinky wet one too, <laughs> oh my stinky god, wet one. it's all it's like nothing but niggas walking. Yeah, it's yeah. Pe mad people walking all day, every day. You don't know, like, you'd be like, where the fuck are these niggas going? But that was my but favorite like, part. Is like 
here in LA, I feel like I only get that vibe in certain areas like West Hollywood, for example, because I grew up there. In West Hollywood, all you need is a skateboard and you could like... You can make it anywhere. You can make it anywhere. Fucking Fairfax, yeah. you know, even Hollywood, blah, blah, blah. Everything's so compact and together. And like, it makes the day fun because you can experience you can so many... Around. Yeah, you could bounce around, do so many things. Once you leave Hollywood, especially once you go to the Valley, good luck, yeah, bro. You exactly. need, you you're need far, a car, You're bro. far as fuck from everything. Yeah, you're not uh, yeah. getting nowhere on a skateboard. You can get to Reseda and be over with. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but in, in London, like, everything is compressed as fuck. It's like, but also it expands forever. That's yeah. the other thing I realize is, like, it, people hit you up saying, like, yo, you're in London? I'm in London, too. They give you an address, and they're, like, an hour and a half away. And, like, everyone's literally fucking an hour away. And you're yeah. like, Jesus. Bruh, and, and the they, traffic is insane. The traffic's in, yeah, the what traffic's way worse than LA, bro. It's way worse, bro. It's way worse than LA. It's I insane. think so too. Yeah. It's insane. Like, what made it? What made it work? Because I was just on the way over here from Burbank, and I was that just was sitting fucking, here, and yeah. I'm just like, bro, nah, this is we ridiculous. sat on that too, and that was yeah, pretty. But nah, shit. some of this traffic is like in London was like, bro. You could you could backpedal faster than this shit, bro. Like it was fucking. <laughs> Do you think great. you could have got out the car and walked there faster, bro? You hear a funny story is Riley and I were taking a, a taxi somewhere, and the taxis are notoriously for being a little bit expensive there, right? <laughs> we're taking a taxi somewhere. There's a street that goes through a park. It's a one street, the one way and the one way the back or the other way back, right? Mm-hmm. That was going through a park. We were like in bumper to bumper traffic. Every five minutes, we move like this much, and at a certain point, we get halfway through the park. Riley and I are like telling the driver, "Hey." We're just gonna hop out here, and he's like, "Uh, uh," and he's just coming up with every excuse in the book why we should stay in the ride. And how much could, longer did you have to go? Really, realistically, we could walk it in like five minutes. Really, and we were in that fucking thing like for like twenty minutes, sitting yeah. like going like this, and he did not want to let us I'm, out of the car. I'm and telling I was like, you, yeah. "Bro, like I can't just leave. I have to pay for the ride and shit." It was so weird, bro. The traffic. Yeah, is you can like sometimes you can shuffle faster than that shit, bro. It was like <laughs> I was like, bro, taking a taxi was pointless, bro. Sometimes it was like, bro. No, hundred percent. And that shit, bro. London is fucking expensive as fuck, bro. Like it's like the same price, I think. Where'd y'all? Okay, so hell no, that conversion rate was fucked. The bro. conversion fucks you up, but like I was asking people about prices. It's and the shit. same. It's basically the same thing. The shots were like six euros, which is like out here, like you know, it's basically kind That's of. That's euros, bro. The pounds was fucked. Oh up. yeah, no, I'm sorry. The pounds. It would be like six pounds, which is basically like ten bucks. Same price out here. You know, it's like. Very, very similar. But mm. what were you going to uh, ask? Ask one? My bad. Uh, fucking, honestly, I forgot what I was going to ask you. I'm hella high. My bad. No, but, no, you're good. Oh, no. I was going to say, what what area were you guys staying in? And then, like, how far was that? You said everything was like an hour away, hour and a half. We were staying right down the street from each other. Like, yeah, I, basically. I was like five minutes away from his hotel. But what fucking area but was that London in? has so many different, like, when I thought of London my whole life, I just thought of, like, kind of what Amsterdam was, which Amsterdam was so small, so compact, and you could walk around the whole town. I always thought London was like that, but London is fucking expansive as hell, and there's so many different areas. Camden was like an hour away from us type shit. Mm. We had to go all the way to Camden. That's still London, but it's an hour away. There's, you know, fucking other areas as well that's like an hour away that way, no type type shit, but... Um, yeah, so everything's just like a big ass spider web, to be honest. Yeah, right. No, basically. Wait, so you, you linked up with Trapper Laura Ross again? <clears throat> uh, on my very last day, yeah. Because okay. when, when I first got out there, he hadn't dropped the video yet. He was, of uh, of uh, NBA N- Youngboy. Yeah, NBA Youngboy documentary. We were trying to, he was trying to link up the very first day we landed, but as soon as Riley and I landed, we were so jet lagged and just tired, we just ended up going to sleep immediately and we couldn't link up that day. But on the last day, uh, and, oh, yeah, and then he ended up dropping the video like the next day or the, the day after that, and he uh-huh. was just ca- super caught up with the whole documentary, probably doing interviews and all this other shit. Hell yeah. But then, but then on the last day, we were able to link up. We went to a cigar lounge, and he was wearing a fucking, he was wearing a Supreme NBA Youngboy shirt with a fucking uh, NBA Youngboy chain. Um, That's bro, right, he's as crazy. well. He was, bro, he was like, he's but, crazy. He was but like, does he live like, I mean, Shout like, out like, like, Ross. You, you don't gotta say where he lives, but I'm like, was like, Cause I'm pretty sure you got like the city side and then like you got the like rural ass shit. Yeah. Like, how, like what was the difference between the city and like the outskirts? You feel me? Well, you didn't really go to the outskirts. Mm-hmm. We like stayed in London. You know what I mean? Like yeah, when yeah, I yeah. met him, we went to a cigar lounge and mm-hmm. fucking, uh, bro, I ended up spending $46 or on $47 cigars? on one cigar. How did you like you it? Smoked it? I smoked the whole thing too. You must have really of fucked tobacco? with tobacco of tobacco, You're bro. Tripping. Listen to this. So I sit, I sat down. I had to hop off stream, um, but I sat down with Trap Ross and uh, and uh, his homie that I met as well. And um, bro, we were sitting down, and they're like smoking cigars. They're like, "Oh, you should get a cigar too, right?" So they're like, "Oh, you should get this one." I've gone on stream before to a cigar lounge, and I literally asked, "Let me buy your most expensive cigar," because I was ready mm. to smoke like a hundred dollar cigar on stream, right? They're like, "Oh yeah, we got you. This one's fourteen bucks," and I was like, "Oh shit!" I didn't realize. 
you know, they might not be too expensive or whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. And then at the cigar lounge, I was like, okay, let me grab this cigar, got it, smoked the whole thing. And then at the end, as I was leaving, I was like, oh, yeah, let me pay for my cigar. They're like, oh, yeah, 47 bucks. I was like, bro, I just smoked a $47 cigar. Shout out to homie, 47 bucks. Shout out 47 bucks. I know, shout out to 47 bucks. How how did you feel? You felt like a balloon, huh? Yeah, like, did you get like a head high? I'm not going to lie. Um... Uh, at first, uh, I was like kind of like puffing it like a little bit too consistently, and like I noticed that everyone around was like just more chilling on it. And they were doing the same thing that backwood smokers do, which is they you're always relighting. You know what I mean? Like mm. you will basically just let it go out yeah. and then be like, oh, okay, and just relight it and hit it again. But he, um, God damn it, I'm so sorry. I forgot the homie's name um, that I met there that day. Babe, what was his name? The what? The uh, Trap Ross's homie that I met. So. M- Marty, there you shout go. Shout out Sorry. my nigga Marty. Yeah, shout, shout out to Marty. Marty. My bad, I, I forgot his name. But he taught me this technique where if you take the smoke and then blow it out your nose, it like oh, really gives you a strong hit. I that did shit that going shit. right to your brain. And bro, like my fucking hands were like shaking from the nicotine, dude. I was nah, like, I was like sitting there, like my hands were like the tweaking. Nick. You're dude. tripping, bro. <laughs> You're tripping. Geeking up off the Trap nick. Trapper Ross, crazy. I fuck with you, but I would have been like, I am not smoking no damn. Where cigar. was you? Why you? Why you didn't go? I with was him? in Paris. Yeah, he had already left to Paris. Um, this was the last day. Yeah, okay, okay. I went back because I flew back from Paris. And then surprisingly, uh, Trap Ross and I did a fucking IRL stream in London. Really? I really thought like you know, in, and the last time I talked to him, he was telling me like, yeah, like. I probably wouldn't do an IRL stream because he had just dropped the King Vaughn documentary. Now he just dropped the NBA documentary. But um, you think I, niggas is really coming to London looking for him? Who knows? But yeah. after the cigar lounge, she was like, "Fuck it." He's like, "Let's let's do an." He was a, geeked a up off the off the cigar. He was <laughs> geeked up off the Nick. <laughs> he was geeked up off the Nick, ready to fucking risk it all. You <laughs> risk it all for the shit. nigga, ready to risk it for the biscuit. And shout out to Travel Ross for for linking with me and uh, you know hanging out and doing that. That was it was a good time. It was sick. Yeah, no, shout out Travel Ross. I watched that. I watched the whole entire documentary and I watched the Patreon version too. Bro, me too. I've literally watched the whole That's documentary. That's crazy. That means you, you consume like 10 hours of this content. Yeah. 12. Well, 12 well, the, the, the Patreon version is a little longer. And it's longer, yeah. Yes. So but, you watch the regular five hour and 52 minutes YouTube version, yeah, and then you went on Patreon and watched the same, ver- but like it, the more extended in-depth. version. You must have not watched it. You should have watched the whole thing. You should watch the King Von version. And uh, no, I'm talking about the NBA Youngboy one. You should watch the King Von version on Patreon too, bro. And then it makes it that much better. And then you'd be like, all right, this is why the probably the but, NBA Youngboy. But not only that, but the that. when I was watching the YouTube one, uh, the NBA hella, one on YouTube, it was hella blurred out it, shit. There was so much blurred out shit that at a certain point, I was like. I was like, fuck, I can't even watch this. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, there's so many blurred points that I kind of want to see what he's talking about, but he's saying I can't show it on YouTube and I understand why. That after I finished watching that, I was like, fuck it. I'm getting the Patreon and yeah. I'm rewatching this shit so been, I can actually see it this I've time. Been ta- I've been tapped into the uh, Chapel Ross Patreon. Bro. Oh, really? Like, yeah, yeah, because I got it when he had the, when he did the King Von one. I like, I literally paused that shit midway, like, nope, you know what? I'm getting, yeah. he kept saying it. I got the, the crazier version on Patreon. I was like, you know mm-hmm. what? Fuck all that. I'm getting the Patreon. So what I, was it showing? Like dead bodies? Bro, it's showing like that? crazy yeah. shit, like bro. Bullets. But like, I never, I never seen any of the Patreon bro, version. Like, wow shit, bro. That shit, wow. Really? And wow. also, I haven't got to this point yet on the Patreon version, but apparently on the Patreon version, he goes into depth about all of NBA young boys relationships with all the women like yeah oh like, so this is literally like an extra bro this shit wow it was how many wild. extra hours is it for real it's like, like only an it's like an hour and a half so it's like six hours in no, no it's, it's like, like seven. seven yeah <laughs> yeah nigga like I'm not gonna lie I watched the five <laughs> hours on YouTube literally I watched it in one setting yeah, same. Like, maybe I got up to, like, you know, like, make food or use the bathroom or yeah. drink some water or but something. But every time I pause that bitch. Like, yeah, uh, I pause it and then... and then, no, yeah. Actually, I was walking around the crib with the phone oh, with okay. me. Yeah. Like, doing laundry and shit, but, like... And you know what's crazy is uh, I wish we had this conversation on, on uh, stream. Uh, this one, we were, like, smoking cigars, kicking it, but I was asking Trapper Ross. I was like, dude, when I uh, used to edit videos for, like, you know, No Jumper or even when I used to do my own vlogs, if I caught a mistake... Even if it was like a fucking 30, 40 minute video and I, the mistake was like one mistake, I would like have this OCD where I would have to rewatch the whole video to yeah. make sure it's all good again, right? And then once you rewatch it, you catch another one, you're like, all right, rewatching this whole thing again. And I asked him, like, how many times do you have to do that to that six hour documentary? And he's like, <laughs> He said he like watched it endless times, basically. Like he would fix one thing and then just start from scratch and rewatch the whole thing. Oh again. my god, Bruh. I couldn't imagine. Doing start that. from scratch is crazy, bro. I, would, I ain't gonna lie. If I had to watch that at like nine times, I would hate and be a young boy. I'm like, man, I want. I don't never want to hear nothing about this. Yeah, I don't ever want to see this nigga again in my life. I wonder. Uh, I wonder if anybody from the NBA camp has like said something about the video since. I don't it came think it's that bad. 
Yeah, he, I, he basically is like defending him almost. Yeah, I don't think it's that bad, to be like, honest. The whole thing is crazy because it starts off like, it starts off like, let me give you the history of where he's from. Let me give you the history of like Baton Rouge yeah. and where he's from before so you can understand what kind of person he is because yeah. he's from this environment. And I was like, nigga, I'm watching like the slave trade of like 19. Yeah, that shit was wild. Wow. Like, in Louisiana. That shit was kind of wild. And I'm like, nigga, how did we start here? How is this going to relate to NBA Youngboy? Yeah. But it did. But you it know, all, it's, it all like leaded into each other. Yeah. It made sense. It, it's funny you bring that up because I literally uh, brought that up to him because uh, when I saw Trap Loss, it was my last day in London. At yeah. that point, I had experienced like a, a week and a half in London, like a little bit more, almost like two weeks. And the one thing I realized is like, bro, all the stories and all the, you know, gang stuff and the shiving stuff I've heard about London, I couldn't really understand it that well because I didn't understand the streets. I didn't understand what it, the city actually looked like. I didn't yeah. understand traveling through that the city. That made you understand it more? And then after, like, being in the city after a while, I was like, oh, I get it now. I got a better understanding of what the fuck I've what? listened to previously, right? Okay. And I, when I was talking to him um, about the NBA Youngboy documentary, I was like, bro, like, I've never even been to his part of town. Like, I can't even understand, like, how it must have been to li- grow up in his area and, like, yeah. go to school in his area. And he said, like, he's, uh, and this is before I watched it, and he's like, it's funny you bring that up because he's like, I start off the whole documentary talking about the history of his area so people can get an understanding of where he comes from yeah. before we actually talk about him and what, you know, the story and everything. I, like I kind of think that that's a vital point, though, yeah. of, like, at least trying to build a story and see that, like, I don't know, these people aren't just, like, these people didn't end up in these in these predicaments or situations or becoming the people that they became like by accident or it it was definitely like product of their environments type yeah. shit type situation. And you know it's great, but first of all, let's all credit to Trap Laraz. That that dude is a fucking incredible journalist, bro. Yeah, yeah. Facts. like he's fucking incredible. Whatever. like bro, that's in, that, like the shit he fucking covers is insane. Like whatever people have to say, it's like. I, I don't necessarily believe in the whole like oh you're not from th- the places that you're talking about yeah. so like you shouldn't be able to talk on it basically i don't think that that's right at all because like in some point yeah 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 these people may have not lived through those experiences but like right shit, there, there's people that do enough research that they can at least grasp they can at least grasp the concept of what it was like or yeah. like how certain things were fucked up like you, you don't have to have lived through it to realize that and it's like you know, that, I think that and, and I think murder that, and shit I is think wrong that whole kind of shit that whole kind of wave like is over like oh you didn't live through it you, it's like bro all, nah, you, can, you, that about you can live through that shit on the internet nowadays bro so it i think it's a fucking free-for-all now bro yeah but all, bro, what, what if I, you know what you're talking about exactly and you present it in the way that he presents it you can't tell me a nigga that that put out something that's seven hours long Mm-hmm. That he didn't get some of it right. Exactly, bro. I think he got all of it right. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, that's not that's not even possible. You feel me? Niggas not gonna put up. Niggas ain't gonna put out fucking seven hours of falseness, bro. If seven like, hours of fa- falseness is crazy. Like, but also on. he like specifically says um, when he's assuming shit and when he's mm. like re- you know like uh, saying like something that was happening like a court document or whatever yeah. it is like he's always saying like I'm not sure if this goes along with the story or not but there's yeah. this theory right here I just respect the effort bro I respect the effort I respect like you said the journalism yeah. I respect like it seems like he really has a love and respect bro he, for, for the culture and like you can't you can't blame someone for being interested in what they're interested in and like him learning how to fucking present it to us. Like, cause I'm not gonna lie, most of those stories he was talking about, I've seen other shit about these other stories, like the G Money shit and like just yeah. friend Fredo Bang and just like a lot of these stories, like it's not the first time they've been covered or nothing, but it's just the way that he compiled it and put it all together and made yeah. it like, exactly. you know? And that's, br- that's what I think too. Do you know what's funny is he he after that stream we did he dropped off Riley and I at our Airbnb. Mm-hmm. We hop in his car. He turns on his car, and then just off rip, his, it just starts playing NBA Young Boy. And Bro. I was just like, dude, like you're probably, so deeply invested into this he's shit, in it. dude. Yeah. He's he in probably it. he probably listened to fucking every single song he ever made and like dissected the lyrics. Bro, he which is crazy to think about. Bro, I mean, he was like coming. Bro, he was like, oh, NBA Young Boy says this in this song. And then he says this and this, song. bro. Mm-hmm. He was. I'm like, how the fuck did you make mental notes of all these different like, things that he bro. said? But one thing we have to remember how? also is uh, he acknowledges this as well, which is 
he's like deeply in those Reddits, in those NBA Young Boy Reddits and other yeah. you know Reddits and like and Baton along, Rouge politics and some of these conspiracies that he's talking about or stories that he's talking about. It says in the in the you know the YouTube video or the documentary he posted like. It's Reddit posters posting this shit, and it's mm. like deeply invested fans <laughs> posting this shit. And he's like doing his own research, but he's also backing off other people's research. You know that that they have done. You think he, you think he's coming up with like a uh, like a rise and fall of do video? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I so. I think so. I think, they, got, I think he got like an eight hour one in the works, bro. If he if he doesn't, I don't think so because crazy. like one thing. Uh, um, I uh, I forgot about to be honest, and so I, I went back on his back old back uh, catalog. But he's been working, you know, with uh, that company for a long time. They, yeah, true. He, he hired him a long time ago to help with shit. So I'm like, it's like it would be like almost like a, a backhanded I mean, slap to someone that helped I don't, you before. I don't, you know? think I don't know. So. I don't think so. I think journalism is journalism, and like, why would he not document some shit that's actually like impactful to like. Not to us, but like you know, to other people and shit like that. Can I get a waterfall as rock star, please? Yeah, go for it. Thank you, bro. Oh, it's nice. Could, and could you uh, grab a, a lighter from Riley yeah. afterwards? So don't throw that one. But yeah, uh, man. Uh, shit, ah. man. Which I which I niggas got on, man? Pause. Oh, I'm I'm actually excited to do this here. <laughs> Because this actually goes into a little bit of a Amsterdam story. Not till not a long one, but when we went to Amsterdam, I was super shocked and surprised to see that there was uh, two fucking like mushroom shop owners that hit me up. And they were like, Yuri, I fuck with your live Whoa. streams. Um, come through, blah, blah. And we linked up with one of them, Pierre. Shout out to Pierre. Out Pierre. <laughs> and then this clothing company hit me up too. And uh, it's oh, called my Sumibu. My boy and, got good sponsors on deck. And bro, Amsterdam is like not a big town. It's like very, very small and compact, right? All the To have a retail shop in Amsterdam is probably so expensive and difficult to do. Mm. This shop, Sumibu, is like literally dead in the middle of Amsterdam, it was like a couple streets away from our, our uh, um, place that we were staying yeah. at. I didn't even know until the last day we went. Mm. But um, I went over there. It's like a clothing shop. It's like a streetwear shop, I guess. But they're from Holland. They're from the Netherlands. And it's owned by these two dudes. I forgot the other guy's name, but one of them is Georgie. Shout out to Georgie. as the dude I met. Um, but they hit me up. And um, Riley and I were trying to go to like a bench to go take a photo. And we <laughs> had all of our luggage with us because we just checked out. So I hit them up. And I was like, well, I replied to him. I was like, yo, dude, weird request. But can we leave our luggage with you for <laughs> a minute? while we go take this picture he's like okay then we took the picture picture came back and then i was just talking to him about the store and shit it was like really interesting and uh he hooked me up with this shirt right here uh sumibu shirt and then i copped this hat as well because i really like the hat the hat's fire good, um, good colors and then it has like this design on the back as well but shout out sumibu after i posted this on instagram i had a couple people dm me and they're like you know i'm not tapped in obviously to the holland market but they're like bro like they've been around for a while and they're like well respected in holland like as a streetwear brand so shout out to them um, these That's pyro fire. pants and then also these dunks from uh, fuck Deviant Vintage there just to go. piggyback off of your Sam man shout out to all the supporters mm. that was in fucking Amsterdam we met another dude named Kenny yeah. or Kenneth That's yeah, crazy bro, bro we had, it was hella supporters was in like Amsterdam bro they was they were like everybody everybody was literally like bro reconnected biggest bros what? just it was fucking crazy bro like in Amsterdam <laughs> and then we had a couple people in London as well too i had a couple people we had a couple people in Fr and we were in paris too and, and in france but like dude for amsterdam was like the most was supporters the most there was yeah it's it was crazy. insane i would have never expected yeah, exactly that. That just cuz it's so far we've never been there well, i've never been there you know yeah. I feel like every day we were going out, somebody was like, yo, what the fuck? It was like, Shut the fuck I up, swear to God, bro, bro tight, it was bro. crazy. Bro, just yesterday, uh, I was telling uh, Tok that like um, I got dropped off in like Tokyo, Illo, Tokyo, and then I was taking a scooter to Big Chief, and then at a certain point, my scooter stopped working, so I had to walk the rest, and I was like walking through downtown LA yesterday, and a truck, I think I forgot to tell you actually, but like a truck passed by me with like a truck driver. And you got and, right in, huh? And no, and he goes like, Yo, are you Yuri? I'm like, yeah. He's like, yo, what up? And he just kept driving. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, like, that's, you... that's the second truck driver to recognize me. I yeah. would have never, you know, like. I know, you know, it's crazy. Truck drivers, bro. We, uh, truck drivers, like, all right, so, like, where I live, there's, like, this gas station where they, like, all the truck drivers go type shit. Mm -hmm. And, like, I always stop there, you know, because I got beer and shit. It doesn't go matter. to the special bathroom with the hole in the wall. We, nah, yeah, okay, you're gay. But, uh, <laughs> nah, I'll be going there and they usually be like, yo, what up, bro? I really? watch the streams and shit. No like, Because you got to think about it, truck drivers be having a lot of idle time when they're not driving. Yeah. So they are just watching YouTube he's like, and shit. He's like, I'm going to watch the, the Patreon version, the regular version. <laughs> I'm going to still be, like, not even halfway through yeah. this trip. You feel me? 
Oh, Bro, God. for real. <laughs> I yeah. exactly. Literally, I, I'm I'm not even halfway through going one way. Like yeah, I still gotta, <laughs> yeah, they gotta they be watching it. Yeah, they be listening to or watching whatever, bro. That so nigga got like, the whole fucking Trap Lord Ross marathon playing while he's yeah. whipping the big rig. And honestly, yo, I, I I completely forgot three people. This other dude also DM me was a truck driver. He sent me a funny video. I asked him if I could repost it. He said I couldn't, but he sent me a funny video of him and his coworker who's like a Russian Russian dude, and he asked him to send me like a message in Russian. It's like super funny. But, what did he say? Some crazy uh, shit. He was just like, hello, Yuri. Like I am a Russian truck driver or something like that. He's and he's like he's like your nice Mexican friend asked me to film this video. <laughs> it was so, so funny, bro. Yeah, but uh, nice. but the dude who uh, sent me that video is this dude who's a truck driver and um and like he had like messaged me like telling me like bro like you know don't let the the comments get to you don't let the fucking you know chat get to you. He's like bro like uh he's like I work twelve hour days come home. He's like I just have time to eat food. Go go to sleep and then I wake up and go straight back to fucking like you know truck back driving grind, all day yeah, and he's yeah. like telling me like bro like count your blessings bro because he's just like you know like I like watching your live streams and you have like a, like a sick lifestyle and shit like that and he's like I really fuck with it and all that stuff and I don't know he's just like reminding me like to appreciate the shit yeah. that I got going not, you know bro not to mention when that's we're some do- beautiful shit though, not to honestly. mention when we're doing the RV stream bro we're driving in the RV a truck pulls up on yeah. the side of us shows us the stream that was that was crazy. that's crazy. fucking crazy. That's crazy. No, but shit, back back to what you were saying, bro. Sometimes sometimes you really got to hear that shit or sometimes you got to really just be reminded like, man, mm-hmm. like, you know, we all like everybody has their ups and downs or hardships or you're trying to figure out how to like do shit or trying to make it better or whatever. And like that shit's all stressful on all of us, to yeah. be honest. But on some real shit, we are really all blessed. And that shit's fire, bro. That shit's fire that somebody fucks with you enough to like even just like yeah, to say share their up. experience and be like, yeah. hey, bro, or you know, or like have somebody just come up to you and, and fucking per- nothing feels better than somebody really coming up to you in real life and just being like, bro, I fuck with you. I yeah. fuck with everything you got going on. Look, I went to go eat Thai food the other day, right? Mm-hmm. And this, like, you know how restaurants will like close early and then start open back up at like five or yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like dinner time or some shit. So I'm outside of the spot with the homegirl at literally 4.56. Like, uh-huh. we are there. Like, nigga, where is, where is this shit going to open? So they didn't open it for a second. Yeah. They opened it until till 5, like 5.01. And so we were standing outside on the, like, on the corner right there for a second. We go inside. It's just me and the homegirl. It's nobody, like, in the restaurant. Like, nobody was even waiting yet. We were the first people in there. So me and her are talking at the table. And she, like, she pauses mid-convo. She pauses mid convo and she like looks up and she stops talking like she's like looking at somebody. So I turn around, this is dude. He has a big ass patch over his like eyebrow, right? Like 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 on his forehead. Big ass patch. He's sweating, he's out of breath. He's like, yo, like house phone, like I seen you. Mind you, this restaurant is on Sunset, but it's in like Silver Lake. Uh-huh. But it's like, that's hella traffic y right there. Yeah. So he's like, I saw you on the corner. I like double back parked and like i just like i'm sorry to me interrupt can i get a pic <laughs> oh my god and i'm god. like yeah for sure bro so we take some pics or whatever and the whole time though Wait, stop. Let's okay, the my bad, my bad. the whole time i wanted to uh the whole time i wanted to say something about the patch like the it was like a bandage <laughs> right. on his eye but i'm like you know what what if something hella traumatic happened to him or he fucks with nelly or like no no it was like it was yeah, like he was sh- a band-aid asshole <laughs> no it was literally like some shit like really was busted open on his head it looked like almost yeah. so i wanted to ask but like you know i'd be like trying to think of shit like that now before i just offend somebody well, he just asked right now he's yeah. probably watching this. no but no no i mean no i did ask him like look so <laughs> so i ended up not saying it right then but i'm like yo tag me in the pictures whatever i go back see him on instagram repost the picture follow him back then ask him in the oh DMs my God. on the voicemail. I'm like, we homies now at this no, point. I know, exactly. So now at this point, so then basically he was visiting from somewhere, Florida, some shit like that. He was supposed to go to Disneyland that like the, the day that we met, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he's supposed to go to Disneyland, I guess that morning or that night, some shit like that. He had to go pee. He wasn't paying attention on the way back, tripped and fell and hit his fucking head oh. on the side on the side of the like uh the, the side table no the <laughs> side table of the next to the bed you got it. after yeah. using the bathroom like so but then he took it on some positive spin shit on some like it's like i was supposed to be at disneyland but i didn't go 
And because like, you know, I saved five hundred dollars. No, he's like, no, he said he said I ran into you. Fuck that. Fuck oh. saying, he's like, bro, I end up meeting you like like this shit was yeah, worth yeah, me. Yeah. Bro, he said he has six stitches on his forehead, bro. bro but you know what God. though? I was watching his story from that same day. He met China Mac and, <laughs> and Crip Mac on Hollywood Boulevard and then some other YouTuber and then me. All in the same way. Wait, name. speaking of meeting people, huh. I heard an interesting story. About what? I heard it was confirmed. I don't know if this is cap or not. What? But shout out to Ayazi. Ayazi told me that he went to your... Uh, you met him, by the way. Um, he went to your uh, uh, shoe drop with okay. Deso Dub. And he met two people there that day. He met a bunch of people, but two people he told me about. Hmm. He met Sharp. Yeah. He was there. Uh-huh. Confirmed. Yeah. And I talked to Sharp like every day. And then he said he met Chuck there. Who's Chuck? Your Chuck? Yes. Shut the fuck up. And then he said he came up to Chuck and said, yo, like, you're a legend. Or Shut like the that. fuck up. That's what he, and I was like, I was like, are you lying to me? And he's like, Sharp nah. was definitely there, but. He's like, no cap. If I would have seen, I think if I would have seen Chuck, he would have at least said, what's up? <laughs> or what if yeah. I, heard, I heard this, I was like, that's I, I, so I don't know. random. I don't think he met Chuck. I think he was trolling you, bro. Yeah, I think he I asked him, him, I was like, bro, like, no cap. He definitely saw Sharp there, though. What? <laughs> so half the story is true. Like, kind of. Oh, now I don't know. <laughs> now I'm like, now I'm like, what if he really met fucking? What if he really, really met fucking <laughs> Chuck there, and I just didn't see him or something? Yeah, I don't know. Dude. Damn, that would be crazy. What? <laughs> now I'm confused. Yeah, I'm, now I'm like, was I not paying attention? Was Chuck there? Well, you the probably had too many people there to like. I mean, know, yeah, but everyone. like, I feel like I was, I, you know, I was, you know, shaking hands and dapping up, taking pictures and shit. Like, how long were you there for? Like, until what time? I was there maybe from like I don't know, like one or two p.m. to like six or seven. One of the funniest comments I saw, I think, mm. it was a top comment on the vlog, the day in the life Trevor mm, did with you. Yeah, uh -huh. The top comment was like. Of course, the day in the life with House One starts at 2 p.m. <laughs> I mean, yeah. the event started at 2 p.m., so he picked me up. <laughs> and he picked me up right before the event. And speaking of which, since we're doing a drip check, man, I got on oh, the yes. motherfucking... Yeah, he got the shoes on right now. High roller. That part. Off a lot of cross surf class. You already know. Boy, man. You already know, man. You feel me? I got on some Sierra pants. Those pants are actually the really Bill fire. Cosby special. I'm not gonna hold you. You came with a crazy fit today, bro. What do you mean? I'm you fucking with me? you. I got on the, the season two fucking. You got that chocolate pudding man. special. Hey, shout out, shout out, season two, man. Thank you guys so much, man. No, that's shit crispy than a bitch. Me? I can't even lie to you. And then you got the the BB trucker, bro. Man. I on. swear to God, I feel like this nigga just took all of them the because colors. he got. I'm like, bro, how did you got like seven colors of these? Actually, I only have three. <laughs> He's the thief, bro. We Listen. only got four. No, we didn't. Yeah, we had way more than that. It was like a green one, a yellow one. It was so I many. I only got three. <laughs> bro, we got one of each color. Yeah, I, <laughs> just, got, no, like, I only got no, three. Bro, bro, every like, time I I'm see mad, this nigga. I'm mad, I'm mad because there was a blue one I really wanted. So what the fuck bro, happened to that one? Every time I see this nigga, he got a different color one on. And I keep thinking like, like I didn't even think about it. I didn't think that he actually took them. I thought that you were like been getting these made this whole time, Hell but no. now I just realized that you just took all of no, them. No, I didn't take all. I <laughs> we, wish we, I would have took all. I don't of them even have I, one at all. Imagine we I go back to like episode one of Reconnected, and there's like a bunch of more trinkets and like things in the walls too. And then as the episodes awesome. progress, would, they're bro, all like disappearing one item at a time. I literally wish I would have took all of them because now that you niggas saying that there was a fucking blue one, that was it was actually two. There was a royal blue one that was hard as fuck. Okay, like, now, you're getting, I, now you're getting defensive. I for bro. sure seen you wear that already. No, I don't have that one. I wish I had that one. You had a but, purple one. Yeah, I don't, has I don't, it. I don't why, have right? a, I don't, this one, the purple one, the black one. But there was bro. a dark blue one that was hard. I feel, as like you, fuck. I feel like I seen you with a green one on too. I wish, bro. But no, there was a dark blue one that was hardest, bro. Whoever made these, can you tap back in with nigga, us? Nigga, I like, thought guys. you've been making them this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, they been coming with the exclusive colorways. <laughs> nigga, they sent it in a PO box, bro. Nigga, I seen you with a pink one on. No, oh, nigga, yeah, you had no, a gray one on. Okay, now you cap it. <laughs> <laughs> Next time he's gonna come with like BB fat tire, like bro. Bro. and like side to side. We're gonna be like, yo, what the fuck? All the brand, bro. He's gonna have like, he's gonna have raw, raw. Papers. <laughs> <laughs> Raw papers, a uh, fat tire, extra chief, small condom company, bro. <laughs> fucking, uh, uh, what's it? Sierra pants? <laughs> Shout out Sierra, man. Hey, Sierra, man. And this is gonna be like in. a fake community world thing in the back, too. Yeah, like, Yo, what the oh, little, T Rail gonna, uh, gonna slap you now. A little high rollers dice in the, in the cut. Oh my god, man. Speaking of dice in the cut, um. Did you watch the episode uh, from when you guys were... Well, you guys were both gone, huh? When we had Donnie on? 
Oh no! Uh, last week? I, okay, so I tapped in. And no, I, I was here when Donnie. You was here. I'm tripping. I ta- That's I was, why I was like, I think you were here. Yeah, oh wait, here. so that was the day I came back, right? So yeah, I had yeah, like yeah. a whole shit show story where, like, ba- real quick, um, wow. my mom picked us uh, up from the airport. Mm-hmm. We're driving home on the 405, and then midway through the 405, heavy ass traffic. My car, uh, my mom's car, just like stops working. Fuck. So you have to pull over, fucking like order a. Um, a tow truck and then the tow truck's like oh, I'll be there in 30 minutes 30 minutes later we get another call saying hey we'll your shit's been tr- uh, transferred to us we'll be there in 45 minutes and then like that shit happened like two three times eventually we up. end up just having to take an uber back home and then uh, what i thought I, we landed at like 2 p.m and also we got caught up at the airport and the fucking passport check for a oh long ass time it was like ridiculous <laughs> so i thought for sure i could make reconnected that day because i was landing at two and we started at six but Hell I no. didn't get home till like five, five thirteen. <laughs> you didn't get home till like eight o'clock. Or like five fourteen. I remember damn. it was like sometime like that. And then I was like, bro, for There's me, no to, way I, I was like, it. for me to get to downtown LA at five fourteen, it's over with. It's yeah. gonna take me by the time I'm getting there, with. the show's gonna be done. Like literally, yeah. So I was like, bro, and I ended up watching it, but I didn't know who he was. Um, the chat was like giving me all types of random names. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Who this, <laughs> I don't know who this guy the was. The chat's funny, but he made fuck, the shoes man. that look like yours, basically, right? I mean, they don't necessarily look like mine. Well, you but guys people... made shoes that look like each other's. There I mean, you go. yeah, it's just we, we we both really we just both use dice. Yeah, but I'm gonna tap in with bro when I go to New York. Our dice didn't even look the same. Like people just was, people just want you to beef about something. You feel me? So yeah, they're like, yeah. oh look, he he stole yours or you stole his or mm-hmm. blah blah. Like, Whatever, bro. But no, nah, shout out to him. I, I think that he was uh, he was dropping some very important yeah. like business gems and fucking Juice came on and we had that whole talk. That was that was good. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, that was dope. Yo, me and Juice been cooking up some crazy ideas, bro. It's not even fashion related, bro. I'm, I, I won't go into details, but just know. Speaking fashion related, though, are you still gonna do? Are you still doing? Are you still streaming tomorrow about that? Uh, that yeah, 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 yeah. So Have you already look, announced it or no? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It. No, no. Okay. I mean, you just said it, but I yeah, know, but no. I didn't want to say like what it was. What it was basically. No, look. So yeah, basically, I'm doing a design stream tomorrow where me and my boy Leo, Child Leo, me and Leo will be streaming. Actually, I might need to do it from here, or if I could do it. At your crib maybe you can do it at my house something something like that maybe even brooks's i don't know you can do it at my house though. you just need a way to like connect whatever laptop yeah. you're editing off like yeah. to the thing which is not hard you, need, yeah. you just need a capture card exactly okay. but you have one but yeah. then you'd have to whatever you're is ca- uh connected to your capture card we have to be uh, have to be sacrificed i don't have anything connected to my because you're using just the hdmi i mean the usb yeah, yeah, yeah. uh thing so like basically we could we could hook the laptop up to the setup. Yeah, and then yeah. Just, Blazzy's done it before here. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I've seen Blazzy do it before. You, like I said, you just need a, uh, you just need you, a capture card. Yeah, you just need a capture card. card. Yeah. So basically, we're we're gonna be making designs for other people's brands for high rollers. Uh, Leo has a brand called Stonebrooks, and we were just like, oh, he owns Stonebrooks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. I did not know that was his this whole time. Yeah. He sent me stuff. The that's clothes, fucking like, yeah, crazy. Right? Yeah. That's why didn't he say that when I met him? I exactly. met him before. I don't know. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's how I met him too. <laughs> that's how I met him from d- doing the Stonebrook shit. What the fuck? But I was like, this shit is hard. Like, let's link up. And we linked in real life. And now yeah. he's been hella helping me with high roller shit, bro. Wow, that's trippy. Small yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, so we're gonna do that stream tomorrow. And we're What time? Um, what time do you gonna end the, what time do you start the slot show? What time I'm starting are you gonna a end slot it? show tomorrow at eleven AM Pacific okay. Standard Time, guys. And then I'm gonna end it probably around three. All right. I have a very important uh call to take at three on the dot. Yeah. That I have to be like on, on this this meeting. So I'm about. gonna end it around four. Okay. I I I'll be here though and just take the call in the other room. Yeah. yeah. And then okay, so let's do four PM. Fuck, that means I'll only be able to do it for an hour because I got to go stream with Trev at Maybe we six. should plan this off. off no, air. fuck it, fuck it. Let's just plan it. Look, because I got I to gotta stream with Trev at 6 p.m. tomorrow. So that, I, means I'll, that means... But I can't, I can't, I can't be, stay here tomorrow because I have to be somewhere like at 5. Shit. All but right. I can go, but I'm back. You've been I, telling me this whole time you're going to do no, the, no, no, the but behind I, the scenes. No, but, no, but like, li- listen... I could be here. But we should not plan stuff on air. It's boring to listen to. I'm Is sure. it? I don't know, right? Shut up. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they're gonna they're, they're gonna be watching, so I just want them to know what time to watch. So, okay. Wait. Well, so are you gonna do it here? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it here, and I'll have Brooks do it. Just 
don't worry about it. Even if I don't have Brooks do it, I'll figure it out. Don't I trip. would help you, but just I'm tap doing in tomorrow just too. Just tap in tomorrow at motherfucking 4 p.m. I don't know. Okay. Whenever you see, whenever you see me post it tonight on Instagram, that's when you'll know what fucking time. All yeah. Right? All right, but tap bro. in, please. All right, show. All right, because like, Jesus. if you're gonna do it here, there's a capture card here, and we can just set it up for you right now. I mean, when we get off stream. I don't know. We, like, it's just we, like would a need, we would need the laptop. I would need the laptop. It. No, but I mean to test it. But okay, the, now I get cool. you. Let's stop talking about this. You're right. Yeah, okay. Exactly. All right. So <laughs> we're gonna get into so many little uh, details. Yeah. People are gonna be like, no, what but, the fuck but are you I do. To? I, I do. The ashtray, please. I do appreciate the both of y'all because, like, now that I'm finally starting this shit, like, just now I'm about to be annoying calling the both of you guys, like, trying to figure shit out. You well, you know what's crazy is I was I was telling Toke this that uh you know I um I've been linking up with uh this dude named Gary Jenner. He's like a like a really talented skateboarder and like content creator. Mm -hmm. Just linked up with Kev. Um, there's this other content creator named uh, but what, what uh Rick, about Ricky them? Glazer, and uh, they're all like not really streamers, but they're all getting into streaming as well. And it's mm -hmm. kind of like right now I'm noticing that just like through my circle and like. You know uh, the circle circle is like i feel like there's gonna be so many so many streamers like right now yeah. and i think it's a good thing because yeah. honestly it's like i don't know um like streaming in all in like as a whole could definitely fucking grow and then also i don't know like i feel like there's uh a craving for like just like new different types of content because so basically the whole thing of streaming for a lot of content creators is like sit in front of your computer and react to stuff yeah. you know what i mean like yeah. so uh, I feel like this whole resurgence of like so many new uh, like making it making it a whole thing is gonna make it different, you know, and more unique. Nah, that's a It'll fact. And like, yeah, like there's I'll, no design streamers on YouTube. I know, and like, yeah. bro, even even what I did the other day was I um I had I had the I had the producers that that watch the stream send in beats, mm -hmm. and then I picked the beats on live. I probably want to pick the beats on live next time because I feel like that took a hell of a long time. Yeah, that was, was so crazy. many emails. Yeah. Dude, there was like, I announced it maybe the, the night before and mm -hmm. I streamed that next morning at fucking 10 a.m. People and there were 600, 700 emails, bro. <laughs> People are sitting on, so everyone's sitting on beats, bro. Yeah. Everyone has beats. So look, yeah, so I think I'm gonna be a little more selective instead of trying to just go through the email because it was impossible. Like there was, there was like, there was one person that sent 20 different emails with 10 beats in each email. That's what yeah, I'm saying. So, yeah. so like, yeah, so, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that. Pick a beat and then make a song to it right there, right then. Yeah, that but was pretty dope. Potential, uh, uh, that what's was a that good dude, idea. like Kenny in the stew or whatever? Uh, yeah, but Kenny Beats, is Kenny, make, Beats. Kenny Beats is making the beat right there and yeah, then yeah. they're recording a the song. Mm -hmm. I'm picking beats from the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like then, from the people that are watching it, you feel me? So I think it just has like a little a little uniqueness to it. I definitely, no facts. I used to watch that shit, shout out to Kenny Beats, but also like, did they used to do that live? Is that uh, live? I don't think sure. it was live. I think it was I chopped yeah, I up. I think it was. Yeah, I think it was edited. Yeah. So like yeah. again, I'm. I think I'm the only person doing that at the, exactly. at the moment. No, for sure. And I'm just. Uh, I'm gonna definitely keep running that up. But you know what though? I think that's how I got that copyright strike was because. One of the beats was literally just the the Pharrell and Jay Z uh, front ends beat. Yeah, but it was exactly. nothing changed about it. It wasn't sped up. It wasn't sampled. It was just Nigga that, that just beat. instrumental. And I'm like, no, no, no. But his verse was fire. Like he got off. But I'm like, this is definitely why we got copyrighted. But with beats, you have to be so careful. I remember a shout to produced by Turtles. He sent me a beat to like edit to a long time ago. I used it all like on a no jumper vlog, and then it ended up getting copyright stricken. Right? And Adam was like, Yo, what the fuck? What's going on? I hit up Turtles. He's like. He's like, I've never posted this beat anywhere, so it's impossible for this uh, thing to be like copyright, uh, copyright or something like that, right? Ends up that some artist in South Africa, some rapper in South Africa, got his hands on the beat without produced by Turtles' permission or knowledge, mm. used the beat on a song. That song he used it on got like a couple hundred thousand views on YouTube, and then he copyrighted his song with that beat, without produced by Turtles' like, knowledge at all. And then... And then I ended up using it in a vlog, and then our vlog got copyright stricken by this dude in South Africa that stole the beat. It's like I was like, "What, what? the fuck?" I was like, "I didn't yeah. know shit like this can happen." But I guess yeah. it's so easy in the in that's the, in, crazy. That's why you gotta world, get them. You know? That's why you gotta get them royalty free beats, man. But that's but crazy. the royalty free beats, I noticed this through my streams. Is they uh, all suck. I know uh, I used to play. Uh, well, I still do sometimes, but I used to play this one royalty free beat uh, like uh, playlist, and um, I used to play it all the time. And then uh, eventually, I started getting all these emails of copyright strikes. And in that royalty free beat playlist, one of the beats, the artist just decided to fucking um, like monetize it or, you know, copyright it randomly. And then he ended up just fucking like taking like all my revenue from all those live streams, basically, or like, what? you know, ad revenue from all those live streams because he just decided to copyright that beat months after I used them. When I used them, they were free. 
after wow. he copyright stricken him, boom, like, and then like uh, my my shit like got hit by the radar. Damn, or whatever it is. how do you crazy. like, like, how do you really avoid shit like that? You kind of just have to play just... original, all original stuff, yeah. like all the biggest biggest YouTubers for sure, like. Like, uh, for example, Danny Duncan, like, you know, in his vlogs, he has really popular artists like Key Glock and like any artist you could think of, like being played in the background. But he, he, like, I bet you he has a team that's actually reaching out to them, getting cleared, to getting shit cleared. You know what I yeah. mean? Like they're doing all that pre end work. How the fuck do you do that? Like, well, they have like so, so managers the boys, connections. If, like the Nug Boys, they'll have like Money Bag Yo shit playing in the background. And it's whatever. cleared. Yeah, they get that shit cleared. Because Money Bag Yo knows like, oh, this vlog's about to get a million views. This is only good for me. Immediately. Like yeah. it's going to get a million views in the first day. Exactly. exactly. I yeah. remember um, there's a YouTuber called Whistling Diesel. He's super popular. And he mm. said that he had a vlog edited and finished. And the only thing they were waiting on is to get uh, songs cleared. And he's like, he's like, we have a fire ass vlog that can't come out because we used a couple songs that haven't been cleared yet. God damn it, bro. That shit will really like, that shit will really put a damper on what you're doing, bro. Like it'll, it'll slow shit down. Or, you know, just do what other people do. Just like, uh, find someone in the audience you that you can work the, with. Yeah. One person that you could trust that makes you original stuff that can promise that they're not going to use it for anything else. And like, you know, you can yeah. form a relationship with and yeah. just get custom homemade shit. Yeah. I might... Yeah, maybe just to avoid that, I might have to literally start looking through the beats first and making sure they're all original beats and just listening to them like that. Because you know what? All the all the beats that people sent in, I didn't have no problem, but that was a feature that I owed somebody. And I was like, oh, I'll just do the feature on live, you feel me? <laughs> and like, I mean, yeah. like, Is that dangerous though? Like, do you want uh, people to like hear the, the feature before it comes out type thing, you know? I mean, why? Why does that matter? I don't know. It's just more it's, promo for the song, I feel like. Oh, that is true. Yeah. But don't, like, some songs, like, rely on the, like, surprise method of, like, oh. I, I mean, I've been seeing, seeing hella rappers on live in the studio, though. Yeah, That's I'm, like, true. I'm Leaking like sure, shit. I guess. But, like, people people will, like, reinterpolate. Like, people will screen record somebody's Instagram live and then playing a song, reinterpolate the beat, and then post that on fucking SoundCloud. Oh, it's, like, it's kind of a part of, like, you know, like, leak culture, I guess, and shit like that. I think it's just... I don't know, cause honestly, I've I've gotten excited about music like that. Like I only heard it on a live, or like only heard it in passing, and like, bro, I want to hear the song on it. Like I want to hear the finished product. I I think it just kind of puts the battery in your back. Yeah. If any, like, I think all like interactions is good. Like when it comes to music and just getting out there and like having eyes on your shit. Like if. If it like gets the people hype and it gets them warmed up, I feel like there's no there's nothing wrong with it to be honest. But I mean, if I was talking to the artist that I was doing the feature on, and he was like, "Nah, I don't want you to like do it on stream," then I would be like, "Okay, I feel you," and I would I wouldn't do it if they if they requested me not to. But I don't think anybody was gonna have a problem with it because it's just more promo or exactly. more eyes for it, especially you know? for the stream. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever do your drip check? No, I did not. Okay. Um, do it. This is literally me just rolling out of bed, running errands today. But um, <laughs> I know I'm, I'm gonna, my my goal is to say that every week. I literally this, said that hope. last time. I was like, you say that every time. You're like, no, I don't. Bro, yeah, but, bad. I literally did though. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like I, I got like anyway. <laughs> uh, Jordan threes, hidden in Y socks. Uh, great Carhartt uh, vintage pants. Hidden in Y socks. Gray hard vintage. Because you're not talking to the mic. Gray, oh, gray vintage pants. Gray, gray vintage uh, Carhartt pants. Carhartt pants. Hidden in Y socks. Fucking high rollers hoodie, um, fucking Atlanta Braves fit it. You know Let's I mean? go. I, I just saw your um Jared Jared Munoz video. Shout out to Jared, yeah. bro. Shout out to Jared, bro. I, that's crazy because I met bro here actually. Yeah. That's where I met him, man. Bro. Yeah, he was on the show. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. He, wait, did he come on the show? Yeah, yeah. I don't think he was here. Maybe oh, he wasn't okay. here. He you know what's here. crazy is uh when I went it's to the Aspie to oh yeah he was in Greece. He was in Greece. No, so you were in Greece. Oh, okay. Was I was in Greece. Okay. Right. Um, anyway, so when I went to the Aspie to uh, shoe release a long time ago, like a year ago or some shit like that, he was there. When the 730 shoes? Yeah, were? in some funky outfit. And he was just like, yo, if you do uh, 60 push ups or something like that or 75 push ups, you get a free pair of shoes. I was like, okay, let me do it. And then I tried to do it. I couldn't complete it. But, How many did you stop at? Like 50? Uh, like 30. You said 65? Yeah, it was, like, it, was like, it was like more than 50 for sure. It was like 60 or 70 push ups. Right. But I couldn't complete it. Um, I ended up giving up and he posted that video and I checked out his Instagram at that point and he was like at like a couple thousand followers wow. and I saw the vision though I was like oh I, like, this I is could, gonna be tight I could see this like kind of blowing up and now I'm not sure if you guys uh, saw the thing where he did a meet and greet type thing oh yeah it was crazy bro like he blew the fuck up within yeah. the past year in the fashion world it's crazy bro it's cause he's like bro he's putting out so much content and like 
he's really is making those videos all day fucking long, bro. And like, I have nothing but respect for that, bro. And and and, and he got all different types of people in there. Like, I like clearly, I don't dress like the the normal people that he interviews, like or whatever. But yeah. like, he's just showing all different sides and, of. And he showed you mad love because I know, show mad love because I noticed that like in some of his other videos, like he won't like really show like. I don't know. It won't really be too much of like a uh, like. Uh, yeah. You won't let people people promo too much stuff. Or no, I appreciate. But that. you were like saying all this stuff, and he was just like, like you know, I'm sure he's like a, a fan of Reconnect, but not a fan, but like he's watched yeah, there yeah. some shit like that. And yeah, he, he was on it. He was yeah, on he it. Was yeah. On here, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so no, but honestly though, like I didn't, I didn't notice that, but I did appreciate just regardless that he was fucking he was showing hella love yeah he posted it tagged me like you know was putting screenshots of the shit up like yeah. you didn't have to do all that bro i really appreciate it and like yeah that shit came on fire bro it's funny because i post uh like like me and him did like the collaborative post but then like i seen it posted other places and it's funny because like when you look at his comments and my comments it's just nothing but positive shit mm -hmm. and you look at other shit and it's people just talking hella yeah. shit and it's just so fu it's just so funny like the different mm -hmm. perspective from different points of views is so fucking funny bro um fuck what was i gonna say you know what his content reminds me of is huh. uh david dobrik vlogs because it's so like it's shit. scripted you know what i mean like it, he did a video where he gave a uber driver like 300 bucks into ash mm. ash on me ashley or the uh the ben, uh, bend over Becky type thing. Uh -huh. And like, you could tell it was like scripted, but it was funny and interesting. And also with the, the drip checks that he does, like some of the ones in New York, have you seen the dude with the giant boots? Like the fuzzy but giant niggas boots? Oh, yeah, really wearing wearing he like can't that. walk in those. He had to have like set them up, plopped into them, and then like said, all right, record. Like, it's like, you could tell like that the shit's kind of like pre-made, you know what I mean? Like, not pre-made, but like a little bit scripted in a way. I mean, he just walked up to me. But the outfits are all unique. These people actually do fuck with these, you know, these outfits. It's not fake in any way, but it's just like has that David Dobrik type of like scriptness that makes it interesting, you know. I think that's a a hell of. You hate David Dobrik. I think that that's just a hell of a wild comparison, though. Like you David so? Dobrik got a whole team of like people coming up with these like crazy ass ideas he's literally just coming up to people on the street and asking them what they're wearing i don't think so it, it, he makes it seem like that you know what i, I mean? felt like, that but I like felt that. in some of his videos like i said uh, just for example the one he where we gave away the ashtray oh it's like, okay well you could tell i felt that but it, it just it was funny to watch though it was in interesting honestly at the end of the day it's all entertainment and exactly. like if you know how to finagle it finesse it and like yeah. you know then honestly that's even more creative to be honest because then okay. if you were only leaning on uh, talking to people in public then like you might not get something interesting that day exactly no, but if you for, over if you plan it out like that then there's probably people DMing him desperately saying yo can we do a drip review yo can we do a drip review yeah too? like yo let me do this let me wear this mm -hmm, and exactly. let me like I've been waiting to wear this fit to run into you <laughs> Type bro, that is crazy. The funniest a nigga, a nigga wearing the same fit for a week to, oh God, to like just to run into ho bro? hope he runs into Jared. But speaking of fit though, like you all right, all right, uh did you see, have you did you watch uh Kai Sinai? Did you watch Kai Sinai? Did you watch Kai Sinai in an offset stream or like did you see or see clips I, of yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I seen clips. Bro, of first it. of all, the offset in fucking um Denim Tears collab is fucking fire as fuck. That shit is. That was bro. such but, a smart release, bro. For him to wear the first thing on that stream, that was genius. Bro, that shit was that shit is so fire. But did you see people clowning this nigga because he, he, was, saying he was wearing the same outfit? Yeah, because he went to the Oklahoma game wearing the same fit the next day. But you know what's funny? He wasn't even wearing the same fit. Like, on the Kai Sinet thing, I think he had black jeans on. No, and he the had other the same one, fit on. He didn't. I looked at it, bro. Look. It he was just like... black jeans But on. just listen, listen. They were the black denim tears collab that he was wearing but i'm saying they had, there's two different hues yeah. he had a black pair on one night and then at the game he had like a blue pair on or vice versa whatever but it's like people just saw the same print and was like and, and, and he had the same shirt but like bro it's his new collab you think he's literally wearing the same shirt Even like he probably he got did. i mean who cares bro yeah it's i mean like it's so funny people will post on instagram like oh like you know uh, a billionaire uh, will wear Forty dollar khakis and like that's but a no, smart thing to do. This is and not then, about the, the, the moment like a rapper but, or someone like that rewears the fucking no, no, no. fit. It's like you're taking it too oh deep. Oh my god, you're taking like, it too deep. It's not about that. It's about just being clean and maybe not wearing the same shirt for forty eight hours straight. <laughs> here. That's it's not about like some deep like thing like that. It's just but look, but I'm just saying like. How do people not realize that this is his whole new collection he's about to drop? You don't think he has multiple of the same things? Nah, he did, but he he came into the stream passing out shirts to all his homies and yeah, shit. That's what I'm saying. He so, probably but, literally that morning like spilled some coffee on one tee, replaced it, and then 
wrinkled one another worn, tee than replaced it. He could have it. worn three of the same black tees by the time. To be exactly, fair, exactly. To be fair, he showed everything that was in the bag when he got there. Yeah, it was only like four things. Yeah, yeah, it was like it controllers. Was, it was like two pairs of jeans, a hat, and probably a black yeah, shirt. Yeah, and then he had, he had extra shirts, and he gave them to uh, Kai's homies. Yeah, so I'm just <laughs> like, I mean, like, at the end of the day, on some, like, on some you're right shit, I feel the same way, like, on some, like, Oh yeah, because you're a rapper or a celebrity or whatever. Like you're supposed to just wear these things that are thousands the new of dollars. Louis drop every week. No, but I, I've even heard him talk about this on interviews. He's like, "Bro, I'm not fucking with that." He was like, "He was like the jeans, I'll fit them in." Or like, he's like, "He's like even a t-shirt, I'll throw that on with a different jacket or something." Like he's like, "I'm not." He's like, "Bro, I'm not spending thousands and thousands of dollars on some of this on some of these items to just be on some rapper shit and wear it once and yeah. throw it away. Like that's stupid as fuck." So I respected him when I heard him say that because motherfuckers will swear. That like, like whenever I see motherfuckers like go through Air Forces so much, yeah. I'm like, I get it, bro. Like that is a, a, a type of shoe. Once it starts deteriorating, it, it just looks, looks crazy, terrible. Yeah. It looks terrible, right? But I'm saying you could take those extra steps to taking care of them, so where you won't have to run through them so yeah. fast, bro. Central C did a video where he said like he's like he uh, he'll be washing his fucking Air Force Ones, whereas yeah. like the baby was like fucking uh, going I'll on buy, tour. I'll with buy a like, hundred pair. Yeah, exactly. That's he just the stupidest thing he, I've he, ever like heard fucks life. up one and th just throws yeah. it away instantly. He get a scuff and he got to throw the whole pair away. I definitely seen the homie J Thirty do that the other day and like like left the other. Like, the other pair had, like, a baby crease right here. He's like, yeah, I'm leaving this in the parking lot for y'all niggas. Yo, like, the media really canceled the baby. I haven't heard a, a fucking word about him in, like, months. Nah, I, I feel you until, like, his, like, most recent song kind of blew up on TikTok. Oh, really? And then, like, like, it's crazy because this song got popping because this guy in Atlanta is a, is a fucking tow truck driver. Mm -hmm. So he would play this random the baby song that had just came out. I guess he just really fucked with it. And every video, his videos get millions and millions of views. Hella people were like reacting to his like toe, toe videos. Oh, that's and sick. then the baby made a video with him and it just, it went crazy. But how are you keeping up with this? Bro, I'd be on the internet yeah, looking like, like on TikTok or what? Like just really, I didn't I, see this news. I'm I on watched, the internet. Really, I just, I mean, we're we're we looking at, we're looking at two different things. You yeah, know yeah, I mean? yeah, like just on like Instagram. You know, just different pages I follow on you. Really, I learn a lot of shit from YouTube Shorts. I don't even really be on TikTok like that. I just I learn a lot of shit from Twitter. I've been tapping into YouTube Twitter. Shorts recently, and like a, a lot of them are like just so like yeah. brain dead. I'm like, bro, like I can't. I watch mean, this. yeah, but like I'm watching a guy tow tow <laughs> some trucks to the DaBaby song. Like, I don't know how to dance. We can lean. <laughs> oh my God. But like, that's the reason why that song is big. And like, I'll sit there and I'll be watching random ass shit. Just like the reason why the baby. Well, the baby is blowing up on TikTok, and it was like a video explaining that whole story. That's how I seen it. I feel like in a situation like that, because I, that for sure has happened to so many artists. I feel like as an artist, you gotta link up with. The, he did link up with the Tokyo driver, linked but up you, with the you gotta like slap like 10k in his hand because you're oh. about to make like 500k oh, that year off yeah. that bullshit. You listen, know? I know they had to have set up something, but yeah, because that's like time, yeah. it was, it, it seemed very organic though. It really did seem very genuine, genuine because. That guys, I don't think his videos at first were doing that crazy, and they, they just start as as his videos gain traction, the song started to gain traction. No, yeah, and exactly. It, no. And that, that song ended up reviving him again. Yeah. Remember honestly. the fucking uh, 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 thousand dollar pants? What's that one dude? Uh, I forgot his name. Um, but it was this one rapper where that song basically like fucking completely blew him up within uh a, a, like a couple months of this song going viral said, on TikTok. Thousand dollar pants. Well, yeah, I don't he know. He got he got. I forgot how uh, how the song went, but. Um, so many artists like reached that, out and started working with this fool like literally within months of this song coming out and like you know not like they weren't working with them already but mm -hmm. it was very apparent that this TikTok trend blowing up just revived not revitalized but just <clears throat> threw his career to another trajectory for the next couple months you know what I mean yeah. just just because of uh, you know random virality bro to go back to what you were saying I was like, fucking how addictive are fucking YouTube shorts bro there's it's the same. It's like it's the same concept as like TikTok and shit like that. Yeah. But I spend more time on YouTube, so it's easier yeah. for me to consume that same kind of content that would be on TikTok. It's easier for me to consume it on YouTube Shorts same because here. I'm already on YouTube watching long formatted videos too. Yeah. So yeah. then I'll just click another tab and like it's just like TikTok. You just scroll up, yeah. it scrolls through, I don't and it just show it shows you shit that they think you would yeah. like. I don't have TikTok, but like. YouTube shorts is one thing I can, I'll be, bro, I'll be sit there and watch that shit for hours. One time I was watching them shits on stream, I forgot I was on stream. <laughs> but think about it. Bro. If you can sit there and watch them on there, you're just, you're, you, you are watching TikTok 
in a different format. Exactly. That's exactly what you like. What you know? I don't like about that short form content is the like, this is why you're ruining your life, or <laughs> this is why this uh, this is why you know uh, yeah. fucking you should never eat grapes ever again. Like it, just like these like hard ass statements with yeah, like 25 mo- seconds of proof, and then boom, then video 20. ends, and then you're just like, oh my god, Shit, like should like, I never touch a grape this again? Like said 25 <laughs> seconds of proof. <laughs> Nah, facts. I mean, honestly, shit. Like, if if you're giving out factual information, that's kind of impressive to compress. Like, because that would be a normal, maybe long formatted video, maybe like a 10 minute, 15 yeah, yeah. minute video. So to take that and make that into a minute, that's that takes some skill. Ask, ask Riley. I'm watching the long form content. The only thing that be having me feeling stupid is like the life, like the life hacks and like not hacks. I've but learned. Like, hey, I'm not gonna. I'm not bro. even gonna sit here and cap to y'all. I've learned or I've seen some shit on there where you just like I've used the life hack. How too. the fuck have I been living my whole life and I never knew that Bro, this worked like this and just, not like that? I use the fucking hanger sweater. Come hack. on. Oh my god, bro. Like and it works. I'm or not the, or the pants thing too. It helped you me a lot. Bro, I've seen so many pants ones. I've seen cooking ones. I've seen like you supposed to put your straw through the through, through the like the, the can top or like just I've just, I've seen so Bro. I could sit here for like an hour just explaining I the different so random shit, things yeah. that I've seen like that. Well, a lot of that shit's helpful just, though. A lot of them are just like extra for no reason. No, that's one thousand percent. But like, just like bro, like why would I do that? Oh my god, you know what's one of the craziest ones that they be so extra on is lacing shoes, bro. Yeah, I'm like, bro, I seen a nigga lace his shoes like completely normal, like how Toke is wearing them, but he laced them backwards, bro. Like he laced them from the top to the back, and then like bring the thing back up no, to the look, side. No, yeah. look, look, look. So the the last one. He, he went behind the tongue and then threw the back and then pulled them out just for them to kind of look like the same way that I'm wearing them or like whatever, but he did it backwards. And I was just <laughs> like, hey, I ain't gonna lie. Why would you need to add this level of difficulty to this? Like, this is something that like, this is something that's so easy and so like- The aesthetic, just make it look nice. No, it look, but listen, this is what you're not understanding. The fucking it hat, looked, dude, what are you doing? Listen. <laughs> it's like it Ray J looked, with his hat right now. I just keep changing every scene. exactly the same as how you would lace it normally. But he, the process. Of I can't take it seriously. It, <laughs> <laughs> the process of getting to it was so dramatic. Like nobody's gonna sit there, like lacing their shoes up, down, backwards, <laughs> behind the tongue, around, pull it up. Like hey. what the fuck? Nobody's like, doing that. Anybody, slice. anybody bro. lacing behind the tongue should be arrested, bro. <laughs> bro, bro I ain't gonna lie. Bro, that he shit went is behind nasty. the tongue, through the lace holes, and then pulled it back like around, like to the front. Like yeah, pause. I was just like, what the fuck is this? Hey, bro? what yeah. was this like sneaker con thing that happened recently? I, I don't know. I didn't go. I wasn't there. I gotta take a picture. It's going Wait, that sounds sketchy. You're like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna see an article that says like 50 pairs of exclusive yeah. Jordans gone missing. Yeah, no. <laughs> he has one of them on right now. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I saw no promo or any, or any information about some shoe thing happening, and then all of a sudden I see everyone there. I'm like, oh, thanks. What the fuck? I would have loved to know about this. Yeah, no, nah, I didn't know about none of that shit. To be honest, even if I did know a month in advance, I wasn't going. Yeah, you ain't doing like, shit. I'm not trying to go to no <laughs> shit like that. What am I? Go, I'm gonna go there just to like overpay over and overpay over on some shoes and look cool in front of dudes. Fuck That's that. the other thing is like you already know that when you're going to something like that, like. Those boots are so expensive. Like, unless you're there for the exact exclusive thing that you can only get at this specific location. Other than that, you're just op- overpaying. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then yeah. there's nothing else to do other than overpay for shit. That's it. Yeah, you want to just go. I'm, a, I'm not about to, like, drive out of my way to overpay for some shit and then be around nothing but dudes. Oh. Hell no. Oh I'm God. good off that, bro. Hey, speaking of which, this is a random, like, kind of transition. But did you see the thing about uh, that Meek Mill is getting called out for recently? Uh, no. Uh, so, basically... Uh, I think there's a couple of videos of this, or at least there's one that the one that he got called out for where he went to a liquor store, like some mom and pop liquor store, and he was like buying some drinks and like some a couple other items, like I don't know, chips and shit like that. It was yeah. probably like thirty, forty dollars worth of items, maybe a hundred at most, probably most likely less. But he was like, because we're buying so many items, give me a discount, right? And, he, and the dude's like, oh, you know, we can't. And he's like, no, nah, come on, like we got all this stuff, like give me a discount. And he was like, kind of haggling, trying to haggle this dude down for a discount. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, I seen that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then yeah. everyone in the comments is like, bro, like, aren't you a millionaire? Like, yeah. okay, if you're buying, if you're going to a shoe store and buying ten thousand dollars worth of like shoes, then you could be like, bro, come on, like give me, give it to me for eight k. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's cool. But like, if you're going to a mom and pop liquor store trying to haggle down Funyuns, you know, it's like that's crazy. But he was like, but he was on some shit like. I, I didn't fuck with it too because I actually I know what video you're talking about now but I, I didn't fuck with it too because he was like uh 
He was trying to say, like, basically, like, bro, I'm going to buy more shit. You a bad businessman if you don't give it to me for this price type shit. And I'm yeah. like, bro, that shit's kind of weird. I know, for real. Well, I don't know. I kind of was, like, almost running into similar situations when we were in Amsterdam. Riley and I went to a, a, a ramen place, right? And this yeah. one, I was, like, hungover in the morning. I had a rock star with me in my bag. And all I wanted was a cup of ice so I could put the, because it was a warm-ass rock star, so I could put in yeah. a cup of ice and drink I think it. I was there. No, no, you weren't there. This uh, is the, uh, did we not go to a ramen place together? Or we, you went to a ramen place? Yeah. Like, oh, it, twice. Yeah. We, we met up after we went. Uh, oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, that yeah. one morning. But anyways, like, we went to this ramen place, sat down. I asked the lady for a cup of ice, and she's like, you know, like, what for? And I'm like, uh, you know, I got this rock star with me. I want to use it. And she's like, oh, no outside drinks. And I'm like, oh, I get it. Like, um, you know, uh, you want me, you want to sell drinks. You want me to, like, bring in my own drink type shit. But I was like, this is a rock star. It's non-alcoholic. And also... I was like, I'm. I will literally buy like three shots right now, and like you know, a soda or some other stuff, just so I can drink this thing. And she's like, No, 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 we can't. And I was like, Bro, like if you don't let me drink this Rockstar, I'm not gonna buy all those, you know, probably twenty, thirty dollars worth of other drinks that I said I was gonna buy. And she's just like, Yeah, we can't. And I was like, I don't understand this business model yeah. because you want to save yourself like a three dollar, you know, Rockstar. You're gonna refuse to make thirty dollars worth of shots and drinks. Like I just didn't understand it. I was like, What the fuck, dude? And I was like trying to like, you know, I was almost like, yeah, but you got to think about it. That right. lady just works there. So she's not thinking about what's best for the business and shit like that. If you worked at Target and somebody was telling you that shit and you'd be like, you'd be like, nigga, I, no, nigga, I don't good. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel that hundred percent. Yeah. They, she, they don't know what's best for the business or if obviously if you're talking to like a manager or some shit, then they're probably be like, oh yeah, who cares? And I was also asking like, I was like, have you ever heard of a corking fee? You know what a corking fee is? Like, uh, no. You go to a, a restaurant and you bring your own beer in, right? And they're like, oh, um, you oh, that's know, called BYOB. They're like, no, no. They're like, or you know, you bring your own alcohol in. They're like, oh, if you're not gonna buy alcohol from us, you have to pay a corking fee, and that basically means that you pay them like, I, usually it's like, I don't know, like ten, like, like ten to thirty dollars, right? Depending on what you bring with you. If it's just yeah. the beer, it's probably gonna be like ten bucks, but you pay like ten bucks to them corking fee so that you could drink your own alcohol because you're not buying alcohol from them. You know what I mean? So I was like, let me just pay a corking fee for a fucking rock star. She's like, nah, we can't. And I was like, dude, I don't get this. A cork Where did you learn a corking fee? Is that, is that like on Peter Pan or something? No, it's like a thing. Corking no, fee is not. crazy. Do you have a lighter? No, you have the lighter. My lighter's dead. Oh, your expensive ass lighter's dead. It's refuelable. Oh, yo, check this out. I, uh, I went to the Palace Store in London and got myself a Palace Oh, lighter. niggas went to the Palace Store. Okay. Yeah, got drip, a, bro. Nigga got, got a $30 drip. lighter. Better living. <laughs> yeah. 28. 28. 28 pounds, right? So that's fucking $35. Pounds on deck. Let's go, bro. Shut the better living up. over here. All right, I'm going to go get one out of my car because we're going to need it. Oh, okay. You about to go, go get the lighter right. out of your car? I'll yeah, you. but I got beer in there, too. So I got <laughs> beers in there, too. All right, for sure. All right, well... Um, should we get into these? Yeah, uh, can we start the sneaker uh, news sneaker while you news? do that? Yeah, start the sneaker news. All right, for sure, man. We got the motherfucking sneaker news of the week. Sorry, trying to mute my phone. Shit, loud as fuck. Brought um, to you by Mac, our Las Brought Vegas. to us by Mac, our Las Vegas correspondent. Let's go. Let's go, man. Shout out to Mac. First shoe of the week, we got the Powerpuff Girl Nike SB Lows, the Buttercup, the Blossoms, and the Bubbles. Uh, release date to be announced still. I about. haven't even seen them yet, but I have to say off You haven't seen rip. these yet? I have to say off rip, I fuck with the Powerpuff Girls. We all watch yeah, those yeah, kids, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Am I, as a grown man, going to wear Powerpuff Girl shoes? But look, if it, it, you should look at them first and see that it's not like, it's not really, like if you got pants on or like something like that, it's like. Okay, you know what? Not, they're just like color themed. Yeah, they're just color themed. They got the big ass eyes on the back though. Let's see. Um, to be honest, you know what? Which like I kind of like the material choice. It's like this interesting material that I haven't really seen them use before. They did those. They they they've used this material before, but just not with the same color. But look, these pictures make them look better. To be honest, the, the blue I guess is the one I would choose out of all those. But look, but look, these pictures that I'm seeing now are like. A better blue than like the original videos even this green looks better than oh really how it really looked when they first showed them like well, it was it was a weird like kind of kind of flat blue and like a different kind of green like i don't know a video they definitely they definitely changed it a little bit and it looks way better now yeah a video and a photo is going to show like two different things and especially it depends on what monitor you're watching off of but no one thousand percent i but, swear this material like either they ha it has like some sort of effects throughout it that like you know you can see in certain lightings but it has like the material looks interesting. Uh, yeah i think it's like a 
I think the I think all of it is kind of like a like a like a three M almost. Wait, like, wait, wait, hold on. I could kind of see the eyes in the back, and the eyes look kind of not. They look weird, bro. Yeah, look at that. They're giant eyes yeah, in the back, the back of your yeah. heels. That's trippy. <laughs> I don't know. It's like the all thing eye. They changed it a couple times too. To like, at first, both of the eyes were looking to the right, and then. I th then they tried to make it to the left, and then they made the eyes smaller, and then now, I'm not gonna lie, that little heart shit is fire. You think it's so? It's a nice little touch, you feel me? Can they, can we have a picture of the eyes already? God Bro, damn it, know, where right? is it? It's like, they're like, there you go, oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's cross-eyed, amazing. It's a cross-eyed power puff. It looks fucking retarded, dude. It, 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 it you gotta think about it, this is how your feet look if they're, if you're standing up, but I think if they were just pointed the same direction, no, for real, I'm saying if they were just pointed and like and pushed next to each other, they probably wouldn't be what, like. What's that? What's that uh, face that went viral not too long ago where girls would go like this? I don't know. <laughs> Whenever you describe stuff like that, I never know what you're talking Bro, about. Bro, <laughs> really, dude? Chad, what? Okay. Oh, look. Okay. Okay, this one's looking to the right. Okay. Oh, you're gonna give me. You gonna, both are gonna give me a weird look for this, bro. And then this one's looking down or something like. What? That looks even more, dude. These look stupid. It looks awkward. I'm yeah, not gonna lie, they all look stupid. Describe it. So basically, what they did was what's that face where like they would go like, eh, they eh. took <laughs> they took the originals and then just made them into different ones. That's so fucking weird. No, they took the sugar and spice and made everything nice. That's Damn, exactly what they did. Let me see that lighter. Thank, uh, thank you for bringing it. Tug, um, did you see any of this? Uh, I seen these actually. Uh, I seen. Can, these you, can you go back real quick and just show them the eyes real quick? I definitely want to see what your your reaction is to these. No, I see. These, these, the eyes are stupid. Bro, look that's at the, the material. Bubble, that's the bubbles eyes, though. But then the other ones are like looking to the right. Yeah, but that's how they all look in like the in the cover, though. And like the. Um, They're all looking different directions. Yeah, and, you know, all right. So you know, like in the front cover, they like doing that little like Supergirl yeah. type shit. I guess that's how the eyes are in the shit. That's okay, that makes read. sense. That makes sense. That's though. what I read. Yeah. You, wait, hold on. Uh, go back. You see the those little lines? That's the mouth. So that's a smile. Go back to the green oh, yeah, one. Yeah, like a little smirk. Yeah. yeah, that's a little smile. The green one has a frown. Um, You're so right. Actually. Right there, you see the green one has a frown. So what that's the uh, fuck? buttercup, I guess. Yeah, but then. <laughs> that's sprinkles. Bless the you. pink ones are the The pink ones are the most fire ones. Though. And that's dust. <laughs> <laughs> so um, to be fair, hey, everybody, look, for this, just so you know, uh, know like, everyone gonna say I'm drinking a warm. I'm not gonna hold you. That's pretty cold. I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. This whole time, I also thought you were just okay, drinking warm thank you, beers. Thank you so much. That's why I got two. Because we keep on asshole. But where the fuck do you? Where do you keep them at? This you got like a fucking refrigerator in your car? Hey man, better living. It's just cold outside or some shit. No, it's not. He left them under the. He car left them outside. on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> left them on the floor, the fucking ground, and yeah, they're right, just, they would have been gone by a homeless guy would have came up and drank all them shits. Or just, or just burst them on your Bro, fucking wait, window. Speaking of drinking all them shit, sorry, uh, uh, we're cutting <laughs> off the secret news, but we already uh, reacted to that. When we were in London, right? Because we went to Amsterdam, and then Riley and I went back to London for a day or two. Um, we had a bunch of weed, and then uh, on our way to the train station, I rolled up like fucking six or seven spliffs, and we're all just like... We six had, or seven? No, don't say we all. It was just me and you. Well, I was about I, to die. Allie and Riley we're, we're, were definitely... 90 degrees, and we trying to smoke six spliffs in, in two minutes. <laughs> Bro, we, were, we had like four joint slit, spliffs lit just all like puffing away trying to finish these things. At a certain Why point, are you trying to finish them so Because much? we had to uh, catch our flight to Amsterdam. Oh, yeah. So I didn't want to take weed with me. So I was like, at a certain point, we, uh, we realized we can't finish it all. I take all the rest of the, the weed and shit, and I put it into a little package, and I, I hide the weed from myself. For when I come back to London, so I have weed to smoke, right? And I what do you mean you hid it from yourself? What do you mean? I didn't hid it from myself. I just like I didn't want to take it. You hid it in me. London, so yeah, I stashed, stashed it, it in London in a little electric box, and I thought I could come back to this electric box and get it, right? And it was. And when I came back, it was gone, dude. And then uh, what did you like? How I did talked you think to that two. That was gonna work? <laughs> Cause it was like a low key. It like, was a low key spot. Yeah. But um, it was so random too. It was like there's no way. I'm like, yeah. what? I talked to two local London dudes and I told them that same story. And they they don't even know each other, right? And I talked to them separately, and they both told them the, it told me the exact same thing. They're like, bro, like you hide anything in the streets of London. They're like the homeless people can smell it from a mile away, bro. They're like they're gonna find it in no time. And they both said the exact same shit. They're like, <laughs> they're like you can't hide shit in the city in the streets. It's gonna be found. I was like, god damn, that's dude. crazy, bro. But whatever. It's crazy that they're that tapped in though. <laughs> I know the, their nose smelling skills. Right. Right, the the next shoe we have is the Mischief Reebok Pump Omni Zone uh, 12. I don't know. I don't know what number that is. Uh, 
Release date September 27th, and you guys don't know either. Um, September IX? 27th, the Via know. Mischief at ISX price $250. Is That's that, a good question to is ask that people. Omni on the street. And a Hellcat, nigga? No. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is a line and X? No, he gets out of jail like all Like the time. four? I'm about to look it up right now. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, these are. <laughs> I think these are actually kind of cool. Bro, these shoes look like they got the chicken pox, bro. Like, no, that's an <laughs> old design. Reebok did that a long time ago. Yeah, yeah but it was, I never, it was just on the tongue, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've never seen them all over like this, though. Yeah, it was only on the tongue. But I'm not mad at it, though. I think it's kind of cool. I'm not mad at it. Yeah, right? I'm not personally going to wear them, but I'm not mad at them. Yeah, who's trying to pump up the side of their toe, though? Like? <laughs> Niggas are pumping up the whole shoe. Fuck you mean? I'm pumped up. <laughs> I'm pumped up. Yeah. That is... Take a pump. What did the back say? Go back. The back say, oh, you want to see the back no, but it says some crazy shit. Wait, hold on. Did it? Boing boing. boing. <laughs> Are you kidding? Boing me? boing. Boing boing. <laughs> 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 Why are they boing boing? Okay, listen. So Bruh. we know we know mischief is going is going to try to do whatever to like you know to try to make it like controversial or different or whatever. This shit do look like it got but bumps on like, it. But that's like. Just so this you, shit got got blisters and boils yo, on it. Mischief, just so you know, Boeing a, a Boeing is like a trampoline, not a basketball, my G. <laughs> <laughs> like, what were they supposed to put as the? Uh, what were they supposed to put as the fucking? Uh, maybe not. Let's not try to put sound. sound effects on shoes. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Let's maybe try that. <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, you ever seen those Gucci shoes? And it was like. Donald Duck as a cameraman, or something oh, yeah, like yeah, that. It yeah. said Flash. Like, yeah, yeah, those were ass. Those were terrible <laughs> too. Maybe they should stop trying to put sounds. Like yeah, you, you can't put sound, sound niggas, effects on shoes. Niggas bro. think they NERD trying to see some sounds, yeah, bro. That, see geez. some sounds. Yeah, boing, bro. boing on the back. And boing. the, and the IHOP font is crazy. And the I, <laughs> I kind of fucked it everything until I heard you guys shit, say man. the boing, boing thing. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> niggas said boing, 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 boing <laughs> on the IHOP fucking... <laughs> I have fun. It's fucking crazy, yo. Nah, bro. Those is those is gonna be a non-seller. Bro. So is this is this this is a better colorway though? Is this the first mischief fail? It feels like mischief doesn't really care about it's it selling or not. They care about people talking about the it. The only every way time. I can see them saving this is if they send a pair to Hakeem and they look hard on bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I feel you. It's Hakeem's all in the hands of Hakeem. Hakeem. <laughs> Hakeem's the only one that could that could swag this and make other niggas want to wear them. Exactly. I'm gonna be real. Man, Did he help sell Hakeem bro. Make them look hard? Yeah. Then that's the only. You're, that's you're, only, that's you're only saying hope. Hakeem uh, helped sell the red boots. Exactly. <laughs> bro, are you joking? It went viral. He went the. The first picture I seen on the internet of niggas wearing them was from Hakeem in his living room mm. on my mama. But look, because he was the first one to have them. Yeah. <laughs> the only way this is gonna go up is if they send a pack of pancakes with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, from <Bro>. IHOP. Yeah. <laughs> and then and, 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 and butter, they gotta write boing boing on that shit. Boing boing, boing boing, boing boing engraved on the pancake. <laughs> have you guys seen that video of the of the pancake stack and in between the pancakes is these giant Percocets? And this dude's like pouring fucking maple syrup over these like Percocet pancakes. What are you watching? Yeah. You see this video, bro. It's so funny. What are you watching? Bro, I just said, every time you explain this. <laughs> like, what is this? I'm on a dark like, web watching niggas eat breakfast. Where did you say <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? That nigga said, you ever seen that Zan waffle like, in what? the air fryer? Toke should be a fucking stand-up comedian, dude. <laughs> bro, <laughs> this crazy, what if somebody bro. made a Zan waffle in the waffle maker? And just put Zans. Remember when uh, Lil Pump had the Zan cake? Oh my god! I don't. Bro. Remember I do that. remember I that when he had a million followers. Got and the, he had a he had a big ass Zan cake. That his manager they, got for him. And they at cut 17 it. Ten years old. And they cut it like, like they cut, <laughs> like they cut it like in like the like in the pieces of the Zan. Come on, and bro. he literally was like, shout out my manager, some shit like that. And That's bro, like, out of he was like seventeen cutting a Zan That's cake. That's out of pocket. It's pretty funny. Man. Bro, that is absolutely right, insane, hey, wait, man. Before we get into this next one, the ne all right, so just so everyone knows, the next one is uh, we're talking about Sean Weatherspoon. But did y'all see the whole Sean Weatherspoon fucking um, debacle with uh, what the fuck is the guy name? Fuck debacle. Uh, Ben Baller. When they were like, really? Ben Baller helped create the fucking Sean Weatherspoon. Um, the, uh, Air uh, Mac the Air Max. I mean the Air Maxes. I'm sorry. So, no, 
But like I saw that photo that came out, and I'm that actually uh, the, I I appreciate that photo coming out because it shows Franelations in that room as well. So Franelations yeah, helped, say, helped every, design that as well. There was like 13 people in that room. Yeah. So it's like you can say they all had an input, you know? Yeah. So yeah. like, what was the debacle? Was no, that no, no, no? People were like, because like everyone was just calling Cap on Ben Baller until Sean Weatherspoon came out and said. It. I just thought that was super dope because I never knew that. I, I thought it was either. just Sean Witherspoon this whole time. That I thought was dope. it was uh, well, at least for me personally, because I know Franelations. I was like that. I thought it was cool that Franelations had to take in that because, like, you know, he's I so mean, deeply invested into the shoe game that I was I like, mean, bro, look, that only makes sense, you know. Look, so like, this was like extremely public knowledge. It was like because Round Two's Instagram, I mean, Round Two's uh, YouTube has always been like a big part of their business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, there was like whole vlogs and shit like that of like the whole the meeting. Yeah, yeah. So oh, it's wow. like- If you're was... tapped in, like this is not, this is not news. Yeah. yeah, see, I didn't see, I did not know that. I didn't, know. That. I was I didn't like, think bro. it was a debacle either. But people, I, I just thought it was like- Ben Baller used the wrong word. But people, he, but like, people just- name. Yeah. yeah, but people just literally, um, people just act like Ben Baller just be over-exaggerating shit though. I really don't think that he do. I nah. think that people just don't want to believe him for exactly. some reason. For some weird reason, people just don't want to believe him. So they're like, oh, what? Like those are the Sean Witherspoons. Yeah, they are. But I could name you like five other people that were in that room too. Mm. Like ASAP Nast, mm. ASAP Nast, Ben Baller, Fran Alations, Fucking, I think Luke from round two was in, was in there too. Like it was, it was hella people in that those room. Those are his best selling shoe to date, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah. but, it, it, you know, it I definitely... personally never really, like, you know, I don't like a lot of shoes that people think are cool, because I'm like, yeah. I guess I'm not, like, interested in that type of stuff, but I never thought they were the, the nicest shoes. I mean, know? like, I think it was, like, I think what it was, was it was represent, it was a representation of the time of round two, of, like, the vintage culture kind of reaching mainstream, because, like, <clears throat> at the time, it was, like, finding vintage shit and reselling and buying old shit was just like kind of looked down upon definitely for a long time and it's just like it became a way to like show your individuality instead of just going into Neiman Marcus or whatever and just buying yeah. the latest Amiri shirt or whatever yeah. and the thing is like the people that was collecting this old vintage shit and selling it, it was like bro some of these shits was just as expensive or even more ex expensive than designer shit because it's like almost impossible to find another one like if you found some shit like that like i remember i bought i bought these carhartt pants for 200 dollars at the melrose trading post and i remember back then was like damn i'm paying 200 for some old fucking carhartt pants like they got like they're like like you know got little yeah. tears and that's, at the bottom they got like that's like, what i gotta say because you just said like they look, they helped that culture look, I think let, me they, wait, let, let me just finish real quick so um, these same pants that I have on right now, right? Mm -hmm. I was at uh, Maxfield, the store called Maxfield, and they sell like um, just like high end brands or whatever. So I'm in there, and at the time, I'm ready to spin the bag. You know, I had low key seen Blasey come in with his uh, gallery department pants, and I was like, I've been seeing a lot of other people coming with this, the, the gallery pants. Like, I know about gallery department, but at the time, I kind of like, I wasn't sold on the idea. Like, whatever, I wasn't sold on it. So when I seen these specific pants, I was like, damn, those are fire. Those are fire, and I'm ready to spend some money, let me just see what they looking like. And so basically, there were a pair of gallery department double knee pants just like this, yeah. except for the double knee part was cut out. So it was like the knee was like darker because this part was all cut out, right? Yeah. That's so but, cool. But like, no, it's like, like it, I'm saying it, it's, it's not that big of a deal is what I'm saying. Like yeah. they looked, they looked exactly like this. They were the same hue, like the same like gray, maybe like a little more like olive-ish, whatever. <laughs> this part was like cut a little bit and like a little extra material, so it was a little more wide. Like that was the only two differences, right? Okay. <clears throat> Guess how much the gallery department pants were? They were on sale for nine hundred dollars on sale. That was this. That was like that was the forty percent off sale. It was nine hundred dollars, right? Yeah. And I'm looking at these pants, and I'm like, wait. I think you have these exact Carhartt version of this pants at home. I went home. I think you told this story before. Yeah, I know, but I'm just, I went home. I found the motherfuckers. Yeah. And I was like, why the fuck would I pay nine hundred dollars when all they did was replicate these vintage fucking exactly these vintage Carhartt pants? Bro, nine hundred dollars for all, pants. Them shits better come with a hand job. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but also, I feel like you know, all respects around too. I feel like they created this culture of. I grew up. They didn't create that culture. Well, but, okay, they didn't create ahead, this, but they kind of like fucking projected made it mainstream. they made it mainstream where basically now you go through Hollywood bro I grew up in Hollywood right growing up in Hollywood I could go to 
Um, like, um uh, hold on. I, uh, Buffalo Exchange number one, yeah. but then what's uh, what's the one on on fucking Melrose? Oh, Wasteland. Not no not uh not Wasteland. Uh, it's like the Second re- Street s- reselling store as well. Second Street Wasteland nah, Buffalo Exchange. No, uh, not Buffalo Exchange. Not those. I mean, not those other. It's on Melrose. I forgot the name, but it was basically all those bu- places I just named. Are it was all Buffalo on Exchange and this other one, right? Where it was like reselling shit. I would go in there mm-hmm. and find hella good shit, cool shit for like 12, 15, 13 bucks, and that was my whole like childhood. Is like I would just get all my clothes from Buffalo Exchange at a certain point, you know. And mm-hmm. I was also I would also steal from there as well. But yeah. now you walk around Hollywood, you walk around other uh, other places is just like all these vintage stores that sell you this exact same shit that you can buy from fucking like goodwill literally and and buffalo exchange yeah and they just like mark it up like you were saying they but, will add a but little do you tear understand why shit. that but do you understand why that is though because it's people because are idiots and they're ready to spend the money that too it. but all that's that's a fact but also it's because people have learned that that shit like that is worth money and that those people go into the goodwills and the their fucking Salvation Armies and shit, and they fucking go through and they hunt through that shit and find the good shit, mm-hmm. take that shit out, and then those people sell the shit. So like, just a, a, as a person who has like, as a person who's looked through fucking bins of fucking dirty old shirts to find one fucking like wrestling shirt that's like fucking worth fucking five hundred dollars or some shit because it was printed in ninety three yeah, from fucking yeah. WrestleMania or some weird <laughs> shit like that. It's like it used to have like a it used to have like a the reward used to feel like oh like I I look I looked through I found some hard shit that nobody else is gonna have it used to be like that but now it's just about like oh finding whatever band tee and just fucking charging a thousand dollars for it so I can't get mad at the game it's like it's like that's just what it, it, like you're saying it's either gonna be some kid doing it by himself or it's gonna be a store opening <laughs> exactly. up exactly it's always gonna be the same shit but but it, it, but it kind of ruins the chances of no, a, one, of a young housewife a young Yuri of coming across some actual nice Supreme oh, or some 1000%. shit in a Buffalo Exchange it's over with you're not, you oh yeah by the time you get to see the clothes on the on the floor. A million people have already looked through it trying to make a buck. By know? the time it even got to to Buffalo Exchange, it's already it's like already yeah. been, it's already been rewrote. But no, uh, like I, I found you... some cool shit, dude. I have like a really sick Buffalo Exchange story where I literally used to go there to get shoes. Uh, a lot of times, I would literally that's I got hella good that's shoes. That's the thing I would steal there is from there is, uh, is shoes all the time. I would literally leave my old shoes. They had alarms put, on them though. Put my you... new shoes, uh, dude. Uh, it would only be girls and gay dudes working there. So, like, no one would chase you. I would literally just yeah, get on but, my board and fucking skate away. But they had alarms on them, though. How would you, how are you taking them? Skating out? away. You just literally skate away. I'm saying you were you were wearing the shoes with alarms on them after? Well, honestly, when I did it, they didn't have alarms on oh. them. If anything, they had the paint thing. But oh, the yeah. paint thing you could, like, get rid of later on with, yeah. like, a screwdriver or some shit. But, like, I, it was never a thing where you activate the alarm. Sometimes it would be a thing where they see you doing it, they just skate away and they don't do shit. Yeah. But, I, anyways, a long time ago, I actually purchased a pair of shoes from there, right? Mm. Used pair of shoes. It was like 15, 20 bucks, but they were like completely new. Never seen them before. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is fire. Uh, put them on. Literally that day or the next day, I went to uh, like a skate shop or a store, got a skate mag. Look, I was looking at this new skate mag that just came out. And they were the first. And it was those shoes being uh, like uh, advertised. And it says coming out like this day. I, look, uh, I looked at the day and it was like. A week or two they had just from from up. when like the day was that I was looking at the shit. And I was like, bro, I got shoes that aren't even out yet through That's a fire. Buffalo Exchange for twenty bucks. You know what I mean? That's like fire. so, I you know, think pe- some people will do that type of shit. Like brand owners will try to hook up people of the community by like just giving shit or selling stuff to like start places I mean, like that. I mean, yeah, sure, it could be that too. But also, you got to think about it. All these bigger companies, they all seed, they seed like early product to influencers, to rappers, to athletes and shit like that. So people will have the shit. There's motherfuckers that that got all fucking colors of these damn uh, Powerpuff Girl shoes and they're not, they're, who, the, the, the date is not even there yet. It says yeah. to be announced still, but like. They have the shoes already, so fact, someone got, already got has the, it. Well, that's I how. The, I got the born and raised fucking dunks on the way and them shits ain't out yet. Well, look, that's how I keep seeing, um. That's why I keep seeing videos about the Powerpuff Girl shoes is because people are reviewing them. They're getting early pairs or whatever. But like, I don't so know. That's because I work for Nike now. That shit's all just tricky. But why bro. would you sell like an unreleased shoe to Buffalo Exchange? You know, that's the Oh, question. bro, what? Bro. They're not going to give you a good price on it. The homie, the homie made these like super fire sunglasses. Like they sold out or like, I think they were like, they were about to come out. They were super hyped or whatever, right? Literally, but... Uh, <laughs> They were FTP glasses, actually. I'm going to just say it. They were like some fire-ass FTP glasses that were about to come out that people were like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I remember somebody had sold a pair to fucking, yeah, like Buffalo Exchange or Wasteland or something like that before they came out. And I'm like, I don't know. As a brand owner, I guess it's like, 
Damn, at least wait till the shit come out before you go and sell I it. Know. Wasteland is the dollar a shirt thing, right? On mm. Wednesdays? Uh, no. What's the place that has rockets in front of it? And, uh, and on Wednesdays, they do like dollar a shirt. Because I used I to go know. there as well. I'm not that tapped in. Like, I just yeah, know the basics. Know. Like, I used to find good shit there as well. And like, nigga, I, I would go buy a million shirts just, just because. Like, I would find ones that were at least acceptable for a dollar. Are you joking? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, here, let's, right, let's uh, get into this. Uh, so we got the round two Sean Witherspoon Chunky Skate Shoot. Price. Out now uh, via round out, two. Yes, out now for $99. My chat brain read ch chunky. So uh, it, that's what he said. What right, do you let's mean? See. Let's see. What, yeah, I'm like, what is this nigga talking about? <laughs> oh, who hung up the rug? I just noticed. What the fuck? That, nigga, that shit's been. A, no, you guys are lying. Wait, okay, I've been gone for like two weeks. Okay, never mind. Sorry. These are ass. <laughs> really? <laughs> you didn't even, you didn't even get a chance to. Even Bruh, these <laughs> <are> <laughs> fuck you. I don't want. I don't want to get this a chance. What's that brand like? Asics. It kind of yeah. looks like Asics, right? Nah, this shit, nah you gotta like really look at this. This shit kind of looks like Asics. This shit. <laughs> <laughs> This shit fucking bro, crazy, come on, bro. bro. Uh, all denim kick. I fu I'm fucking with the denim. I wonder personally. Okay, I don't know how expensive or how hard these things are going to be to get, but I wonder how these things would do through like a, a you know skateboarding for a week in them because it's denim. Mm. Like if it, it's should, tougher, these shit should. It might like it. It might like it look tight. Like it might make it like. Oh, tear it's a away. skate shoot too. Yeah, yeah, these might be super easy to get, bro. Don't for me, hold <laughs> your breath. <laughs> 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 Uh, why are you funny as fuck, bro? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the round two uh, like thing logo on the tongue, right? I don't know. <laughs> Shit, you gotta let people know what they the copping. The blue pair looks way better, bro. These look like DK and Y shoes, bro. These oh shoes my are god! Weak, bro. If you're wearing these shoes and you're wearing um, denim <clears throat> pants and like a denim jacket, you're gonna on just top, blend in, huh? Like you think it's like too much. I wish it was like a light wash denim. I feel like it would have looked cooler, like like the light, like super light blue. I was, I just wish it would have been like a different material, not denim, bro. Like just. I mean, they got they got some hard ass like denim dunks. Why they did got they choose denim. denim? Yeah, like I think it's just anything in the world. You okay, but denim. listen, you got to think about it again. Like y'all y'all not looking at it from the aspect of like round two comes from like the vintage shit. Like we're just talking about vintage yeah. shit. It's like oh, make it out of t-shirts. I felt that. <laughs> you want a t-shirt shoe rather than a denim shoe? Hey, this could have been original. I mean, I've never seen a t-shirt <laughs> yeah, like least, cotton material. Yeah, right? at least it would have been original. I don't know if you could even do that. <laughs> like, your toe's going to rip through it immediately. <laughs> it's just the thing. Hey, I'm not going to lie. Y'all are actually fucking funny <laughs> as fuck, bro. But no, like, I mean, there's definitely brands that like have done it and done it the right way. Um, Wait, brothers. I think the silhouette of the shoe. Oh, thank you. I think the silhouette of the shoe was different. Uh, I like the sole a lot, to be honest. The sole had like a lot of texture to it. You could do the two tone and like change the colors, yeah. like Does you know. Does that say price ninety nine dollars, a hundred dollars? Uh, I think that was that. Yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's the price they pay people. It's not bad. Wear them because it's <laughs> fucking weak as fuck. I don't think they were. You bad. wouldn't wear those shoes for a day for a hundred dollars? Yeah, I would. I would no, I'll, for a hundred dollars. Yeah, 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 I'll wear any any shoe for a hundred dollars. Yeah, any yeah. shoe. Thank you. I mean, with like a fucking swastika on this side. Oh, you yeah, know, maybe not for a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, oh, what's the price on that one? I'm not in the swastika know, kicks. I'm sorry. That's no, you've I'm worn other swastika gear. Yeah, gear. That's why exactly. I brought that up. But speaking of other gear, let's get into <laughs> speaking of other gear. Men's fall 2024 collection, man. Release info is out now via LV. Let's go. Drake just dropped that song where he's like, you know, me and my partners don't wear Louis Vuitton no more. So uh, this like, I wonder me how and my partners. <laughs> I wonder how that's It's only because he beef him with Pusha T and then Pharrell's like the yeah. Yeah. director. Yeah. Or oh, whatever. Yuri's like, what? <laughs> yeah, huh? <laughs> Looks like. Do you, would what you like us I... to explain why he said that? No, 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 no. no. Do, but do you know why? I get it. I get it. Do you? It's a turf beef. It's a what? Turf, turf. A war. turf beef? Turf war. Yeah, you can just kind of run don't talk like that. Oh my God, that bag is fucking dope though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, of course you would comment on the bag. The bag is dope. Um, I do. I mean, the bag is huge and in the camera. No, nah, but I'm yeah, just saying, I, I like how they have, you know. No, nah, I'm saying, this, this nigga said, of course, you're going to comment on the bag. Like, yeah. well, it's no, like the first thing but you, you know, but No, I, it's just that like he's known for wearing a uh, Merce. Gotcha. No, nah, but I'm just like, yeah. I like, I like how Louis Vuitton always have like, those bags that keep they shell form. Like, yeah, you know, no yeah. No matter what, it's always mm. like, it's like weird. I'm not going to lie, that fucking duffel in the back was crazy, too. I, I like the jacket. I'm, I'm not going to lie. The jacket's fucking weird. He said the members, <laughs> not the partners. I had to oh, think, yeah, what did Drake say in that song? That duffel is crazy. He said the members, not the partners. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Corduroy. 
Okay. Is that quarter? Yeah. These like high need, fashion like, photo shoots are always so confusing. Bro, yeah. we need like better photos. They'll take a photo like this. They'll show a photo like this, and you're, and from you know those first glance, are. you're like, oh, black pants, black jacket. No, those what's pants new is here? hard. Go back up and look a little bit already. Look. No, yeah, those, those on the side, those shits is hard. Blazzy's right. gonna come in with those next week. 100%. Yeah, with some Blasi fucking black right leather, now. with some black leather boots on. Okay, those shoes. Hulk's coming in with the with the Merce for sure. Nah. Oh, that's a. I've never <laughs> been an LV Merce fan. That's Paul wearing his Gucci bar Merce. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Zooming on the shoes though. Look at this the high shoes top are, thing. The shoes are nasty. That's meant for like women. That's blasey like, work. A dude should not be wearing like a high top shoe. Right? That's meant for that's biscuits, work. Bro. That's Unless you're like a Napoleon, you know, like short or some shit like that. I guess. It's <laughs> definitely blasey work. I can't be in a big like ass the clogs, kick. the big ass kicks like that. Yeah, it's out. Okay, like I, the biggest I'll go is like Mason Mihara's, which is like yeah. the actual shoe is the same size, but the sole the is just is wait, the wait. sole is a little like extra. You feel can me? We, can we see the f full photo? How different is what he's wearing there to what I'm wearing here? Way That's different. That's expensive. Way That's different, expensive. Right? In <laughs> not about price. Not about <laughs> price. No, it's just, yeah, yeah. It's just three dollars, and that's three thousand dollars. But it's just it's the I'm quality. Talking, it's the material. I'm not talking about no. I'm not saying that's not good. I'm talking about the as, shape for, as for fashion. Like, is this considered a merce? Because I wouldn't wear that because it looks like I'm wear, I'm like it looks like my mom asked me to hold her purse while she went to go grab change or some shit like that. Not facts, but like as this looks like I'm chilling. Got some weed in here. No, it looks like you're ready to maybe go on a, a hike. Maybe dookie. It's just, cause, it's just like you're not, you're not there a with the swag. Dookie. That's why. If you was, if you was there with the swag, you could pull it off. But like, yeah. it's all about the yeah. It's all about the you swag. would look like you're holding your mom's purse right now <laughs> if you put that on right now with with your. Every time I see with Toke with that with, Gucci, with, uh, with your smabubi fit, it literally looks like Ali's like, hey, can you hold this for a second, yeah, babe? Right. And then like, you know, she's like, gone. Like, and Ali's like, yeah, hold my blick. Like, look, bro, <laughs> he's swag. Look, he's he's swagging, he's swagging that right shit, now. bro. Yeah, what are you talking he's about? Swagging it with the with the that mini jacket shirt. hard too. I'm getting this whole fit off just like bro. It. If I came in here wearing that on my shoulder, you would think I was holding it for Riley. You would think I was holding it for Riley. I'm not gonna hold you. His fit is crazy. Yeah, like what are you talking about? Like this is. Like this is some real like I'm about to go do some fancy ass shit fit like You know what I'm you know what realizing mean? now is like when we were making all the, these gay jokes we make like I'm actually joking. Mm. Yeah, I feel like you guys are serious. No, if you you're guys the think one that's serious. Hard. Backpack's hard. The backpack is hard. I agree. I'll put a I'll put a that computer in there. That's all fire, bro. I'll put a I'll put, put my live view in, in there. Oh my bro. God. Oh, yo, you Louis gotta start Louis. streaming off the fucking Louis V backpack. Oh, let me bro. really get robbed this oh time. Oh my god, that would yeah. be sick. Yeah. That'd be a flex. Yeah, they're up and like, pulling. I got the you live view in the Louis and pull V. On you they're for show. Sure. You like, gotta get blick, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get that backpack and just stream in front of the police station for the rest of my life. Basically, uh, don't don't give this nigga blick. Actually, yeah. <laughs> he's the last nigga that needs. Blick. Oh, look, there goes the same one you got. Okay, guy. you see, this one's way more fire. I mean, I feel you. I fuck with this, but also like it's just, it's so plain. It's more subtle. It kind of looks like uh, that looks like the exact bag you were just yeah. wearing, but just way harder. Yeah, but the col it just the color scheme is just so like lame, dude. It looks like uh, the have you ever seen like the meme of the manager special where they just paint over everything, including the socket. Like kind of looks yeah, like, like the that's kind of what's special. that's kind of what's in right now. Like <laughs> that's look, it looks like that's what we go back to the purse. <laughs> it literally looks because like the Louis Vuitton special. thing is so like has funny. the same color. It looks like the fucking yeah, but manager like, special painting. It's like it's like you know like like what what is it like me melochromatic or some yeah. mono monochromatic? Yeah, yeah, it's like melochromatic. Whatever. I'm just <laughs> I, 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 was thinking, I didn't know I didn't know the word obviously, <laughs> but no, like that's like a whole thing is like. It all being the same shade or the same like kind of fits the same silhouettes like it's honestly like I look at it as just more like it's more attention to detail than it is like it being lame to be honest. Like, okay, okay. All I don't right. know, man. You're trying to you're get that Louis bag. I see. No, I I, they're you. not gonna give me a bag. Yeah, I'm just because like, we giving them I, props. No, no. I just like I appreciate the art to it, and I feel like you know you just wear like fucking random like movie shirts. From like, Shmubi. like you know, it's, it's like Sumi Boo. Okay, listen, but I'm saying like, Shmubi. like, like, it kind of doesn't. Boobie? It kind of doesn't make us. It, it doesn't make sense for us to do these reviews with y'all too, because y'all specifically don't give a fuck about this shit, or you don't even give a, a fuck You're enough. You're so offended by no, my comments on the merch. No, it, it's not even that. It's just like your attitude about it is just like. Oh, like, like you just don't get it. So it's like, why even, why even have this? That's ultra the one opinion? thing I didn't like is the merch. I no, said well, everything I else is fire. Just in general. Wait, hold on. Oh, you're. Uh, oh my bad. No, you're good. 
Nah, I feel you. I feel you. I just feel like y'all both don't give a fuck about the clothes in general. So it's no, just I like, give a fuck. I just give a fuck about like, our like, shit. Look, I mean, no, no. He my doesn't boy. give a fuck. Look what he's wearing. Nah, nah, nah. My boy, I, I came, on the other hand, my boy came. My boy came hey, super crucial nah, today. Dude, today. What the fuck? Trippy. And, and he, you have a weird side eye vision because if you look straight at him, <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, listen. Shout out to well, how do you say it one more time? Though? Sumi Boo. Shout out to Sumi Boo, bro. It's shout on my damn this. hat, dude. Really. I know, I know. But no, no, no. Shout, shout, out, to out, shout out to y'all for actually fucking giving Yuri a clean shirt to wear. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga has not taken off the. That's an awful lot of uh, high roller shirts since I since I gave it to him, honestly. But shout out to shout out to you for repping, honestly. All right, yeah, this is some high fashion runway ass like shit. Like I get it, but like you're never gonna wear any of this like this. Like yeah, no. you might get the hat. Like you're gonna get separate pieces off yeah, top. Like, you know, no one's like, getting a whole. You're thing never gonna it. wear this. You feel me? The whole like, fit's gonna cost you fucking six racks anyway. Bro, that's the crazy part. The whole yeah. fucking fit is gonna be fucking ridiculous. I would never get those shoes though. Like, those, th those shoes are a little like okay, like I didn't really need to do that for the shoes. This fool. This nigga look like Central C. How can I be home before? Those shorts are hard though. Like depending on what kind of material. The bag looks I like the, kind of the bag though. looks like the Supreme bag though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You remember? Yeah, bro, like the yeah, their collab bag. Paula's gonna pretend to be. I can see your. I can see Yuri yeah, wearing no. a sweater <laughs> vest eventually. Fuck no. Okay, I, can I talk shit about this one? You is wear it, a is it fair? Man. You can talk shit about whatever. I'm just talking <laughs> shit. I'm just talking shit back to you, bro. It's okay. Why the fuck are you wearing a sweater a vest that's like uh, you know that material wool while not With wearing like an undershirt? It's a thing to keep warm. No, that shit are you is cold ass. or hot? No, of course that shit know. is ass. He's sleeveless. But... He's sleeveless in Seattle. Bro, that's nah, like, dude. His bro, nipples are gonna be chafed, like a photo bro. Shoot. That shit, they, bro. <laughs> they be like, how can we make you look as stupid as possible? That shit's gonna rub your nipples dry. Fire, though. The shorts was the fire. Shorts are, like these jeans. I'm are fucking hard. with the jeans, these bro. Jeans are hard as fuck. He, bro, what? He got the the Louis V double knees is crazy. All right, I don't care what y'all talking about. Those jeans Those are jeans fire. Are Dan, do they still? I'm not gonna hold you. They the... are going a little crazy with the with the mercies, because like. You can't even fit nothing in there. What can you fit in there? Like a pack of gum? Toke ducked for his life. I just see you going like okay. this. I'm like, <laughs> listen, I get it. I get what you're saying now because this Merce, you can't even fit the glicker in Oh, you're about to kick me off the podcast two minutes ago. But I get it. I get it. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. You can't fit the glicker in. You can't, you even, can't put a even knife fit in. glick in there, so I get it. You can't even fit now. a knife in there. Bro, what? You can't even, nigga, it's like a stick of gum. No, it's no, like go back down. Go back down. 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 down, right there. To the left. Yeah. yeah. Bro, what? That shit is extremely small. That's like not even gran that's not even granny's purse. Like that's like your little sister's purse. Yeah, like, it's over with. Like you only fit in quarters in that bitch. Bro, you, <laughs> you got a stick of gum, some chapstick, maybe it's, like maybe it, like the little like travel size lotion. You could literally only fit an oil burner and a lighter in there. Why the fuck do you need an oil burner? Because you do fucking meth. Oh, you got in there is thoughts. Oh, you meant like a little pookie? Yes. <laughs> That's, That's what those are called? Yes. Oil burners? Yeah, they're called oil burners. Why are they oil? Because they can't, it's not, when you go to a liquor store, it's not titled I'm, meth pipe. It's I'm like, titled yo, oil me, burner. I'm like, yo, let me get a pookie. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, let me get a pookie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you bought hey. one before? I'm saying I would say that if I was buying a meth Have pipe. Have you used yeah. one? No. This I've is, actually used one before. See, this oh, is why. Smoked I, the smoked weed? No, I smoked dabs out of it. I thought you were just like, no, I smoked. You know what's funny? You know what's a funny story? When I was like, 15 years old i swear to god bro it was like so funny because like you only see shows or movies about this shit right but when i was like 15 years old or 16 was i just started smoking i had a lighter actually i don't think i even smoked weed yet mm. i just had a lighter in my pocket because i used to like be a little pyromaniac and shit so and uh, i was like, like the light shit up. i was like 15 years old skating around and this like homeless man comes up to me like hey you got a lighter and i'm like yeah sure here you go and then right in front of me just pulls out a fucking pookie, just starts hitting the pookie with, and then my, gives you with lighter. my lighter. And then, bro, he go, takes a couple hits and then, like, looks at me. I look young now. I always have had a baby face, right? Imagine me at 15, bro. He looks at me, goes, oh, you want to take a hit too? And I was like, oh, no, no, thank you. I just want my lighter back. And then he, like, takes one of hit, gives my lighter back, and I leave. And I was like, damn, I got offered meth or pookie today. I was like, what the fuck, dude? That's so bro. random. Shit, took one, pussy. <laughs> fuck it. Mean. Bro, what the fuck, bro? Bro, that's like a fork in a row moment in your life. Like, what if you would have hit that shit and then that you just changed my life forever? Yeah, you just you just never became like yeah, Yuri. Like Yuri. you like well, you Yuri never became harmonious. If man. he if he like 
was wearing like a you know a full Louis outfit, looked like this dude, <laughs> hit, like hit the pookie and was like, what "You want to hit?" What if he? I pulled... might have been enticed, but he was like, you know, very like you know, looking crazy. Bro, what yeah. if that homeless wear Louis fits if you want to get the the youth involved? <laughs> Bro, listen, listen. What if he want? What if he took out the oil burner out of the mini purse? The mini Merce. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And then sparked up. I would have been like, yo, what like, are you doing for like, a living, bro? You'd have been like, now, now I'm involved. <laughs> like, Yo, you trying to smoke? Like, mm, I'm fucking with that bag. I like the bro, shirt, this is too. Like the, no, the shirt is like the fucking swap meet, like samurai it shirt. Is, they it have. is, it you is. You see, this, right. purse will, this, will, this purse will fit like half a Frisbee. You cut a Frisbee in half. You Why would I need half a frisbee? Or half a pizza. You know what I mean? You eat half a pizza, the other and half. And then you put want the rest pizza. in my Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> exactly. I got you. But see, like that bag right there, the 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 blick is barely fitting in. The like the blick, like the blick is tucked out, tucked it, out a little bit. Yeah, it's like, uncomfortable it's in like, there. It's like you definitely have to squeeze you're, you're it in. You're fighting with the zipper every time. Exactly. You, you, you feel me? You like, your wallet out and shit. Like you might have to jerk the zipper open. <laughs> pause, 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 pause. <laughs> Put some butter on it. Whoa, you gotta oil it up. You gotta oil what? up the zipper to get open. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Weird. All right, man, let's start getting to the clothing news. Oh, well, that we had a clothing news, news, but I meant the second one of the clothing news. We have. Uh, we oh, got. Oh, well, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> we, we have. Gotta, uh, we got Awake oh, New York's yeah, Fall 23 right, no, collection right. out now via their website and the NYC store. Awake New York is definitely one of my. Favorite East Coast brands. I fuck with them a lot. They do a lot of good collabs. So let's definitely pull this up. See right, what we got go, going let's on. Let's go real hard on the judging then. Guys. Yeah, hell yeah. Go crazy. Tap in Awake New York. We need a logo in the back of our pod. They not fucking with us. Yeah, they like niggas. They not fucking they with like, us. They, they like niggas. They shut up. Lit, yeah. <laughs> They're like, in fact, copyright strike yeah. for saying our name. Yeah, in honestly. Of your real, pod. All right. Let him in. Good start. All right. You know what? Trash has jacket. I'm I don't want that lie. logo. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. This is cool. This is cool Letterman, but I've never been a fan with the Letterman with a collar. I'm not going to hold you. That was the first thing I was about to say is that I really don't personally fuck with the um the collar Letterman. The collar Letterman's like it just it makes me just feel like that logo, dude. It looks like a like a card company. Like you guys sell playing cards or something. <laughs> well, it, just, it just says Awake New York underneath. I, to, I mean, I would like to see what they put on the back yeah. because you know why? When people make varsities, they do do that all the time. Are right, other than people in New York, are people wearing hats with this type of like? Bro, this is printing? like a, this look like what's that brand that used to be Neff? This is, that's yeah. what it looks like. It's that's kind of crazy. Shirt. That's crazy. I, 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 that's like, but like, it's crazy, but I'm not even going to Wait, hold on. Can we go you. back to that hat? They're trying to bring back like, 20, like, the, like 2012, snap. 2013 snapback era. Yeah, but that's like a, that's really like a, like a 80s kind of snapback, which is where they got, the, where the 2012s got that from, really. She look high as Especially with too. the. You could tell the rim goes further back rather than to the line, right? Like, whereas, like, I feel like the, the bill or whatever this is, like, mm -hmm. was like a little bit, it's like smaller. Yeah, it's like, a, yeah, yeah. Like, th those old kind of snapbacks are, they kind of fit like that in general like they My bad. they have a different shape than these in like a fitted hat you feel me or even a trucker trucker has his own specific maybe her head's right, just small we got the ain't nobody cool she awake new york fucking collab you're funny as fuck <laughs> what you think ain't nobody cool created prints or something <laughs> no nah, but i just see them doing it a lot i'm just talking shit uh i'm fucking with it you actually. fuck with this yeah i'm fucking with it i'm not a big fan of this I like the I like the awake new york logos i like the the hundred the hundred dollar bill and then just what I uh, drinking uh, what I appreciate about this though is you can tell that it's this is actually more expensive to print. Like when you see like a, someone percent. someone just buying a fucking like a blank and then printing a little logo on the nipple or whatever it is and it's fine. This you can tell they had to actually take raw material, print on top yeah, of the raw one, material, and, and, and then and then and make then that make into the a fucking hoodie. thing. Which is look like, at Yuri you knowing about some production, my <laughs> boy. I see you, my so boy. So when I see stuff like this, I actually I'm like, oh, it's actually you worth the price. It. You know, yeah, you appreciate like, it. Yeah, exactly. No, that's a fact. And like to get that pattern, just like, like you said, like you got you got to print that shit nice and then make the hoodie out of the fucking. Would you have to material. pay someone to make you hoodies? It's yeah. like you're Come adding on, so much production cost to that, probably. Yeah. Let's see what the next one looks like. Oh, okay, the pants. Oh, this is what the you were wearing the other sweats. day, basically. Wait, what? With a, like a mixed up flannel. Oh yeah, but nah, not not as like, not, not like not as with like that, that print with the bandana. I don't print. fuck with the flannel, but the flannel with the with the sweats vibe is whack as fuck, bro. I ain't gonna lie. But the the sweats is kind of. Are cool. you saying that you're not supposed to wear a flannel with sweats or this? Specific yeah, you're not supposed one? to wear a flannel with sweats. Well, who said that? Me. Even though I've worn. What sweats, are you supposed to wear? 
A, a flannel is just like a, is almost like a, like a, like a hoodie. I kind of. It's almost like a jacket. I kind of agree think, with Toke where a flannel why, is like so, it's not super tight fitted, but usually it's a little bit tight fitted where sweats are so loose. If you're going to wear a loose pants, you're going to wear, wear a loose, loose top. I wear loose flannels all the time. I wear like a, like a, like, I don't know. Yeah. I think a flannel should be with, definitely with jeans or something all the time, to be honest. Okay, so I'm not going to think about it in like those cold places where people are working and shit like that. Like niggas is where, like real work where people are definitely wearing Sweats with yeah, like a I don't think flannel. so. Work where people are not wearing no sweats. I mean, I, I just yeah. meant like maybe at home they are. I just meant, I just meant like on some like yeah. I, I didn't mean like yeah. that. I just meant like y'all acting like this is just like some crazy ass combo or something. I feel like people in colder places wear sweats with flannels. Hey, but I'm not gonna lie. My take on the sweats though is I I've been a they're, you know, they're right. I, I've been a um a, not, not not a victim I guess, but like I've done this before myself where I've worn sweats. In public, I won. You don't sweat. be wearing no drawers. I wore, though. I wore sweats. You be raw dogging. No, no, I wear raw dogging. I, I wear boxers, but uh, I've wore sw I've wore sweats to the reconnected episodes. Right now, recently, I can't see myself leaving the house in sweats. Sweats is like you a used to wear basketball shorts like every day. Basketball, you're, you're basketball about? shorts are cool to wear outside. I feel like sweats to wear outside is kind of like. I don't know. Dude. Where do you, how like do you draw a, that it's line? It's like an indoor yeah. thing, bro. Yeah, it's I like don't a, know. Yeah, that's for not for me. A, it's weird. It's like I feel like sweats is an indoor thing. You don't wear them outside. But you wear ba you literally yeah, yeah, like you're basketball, fit. Basketball, basketball shorts are short. fine though. Why? What's yeah, the difference? You look because like, they're like the same. Like, you look concept. like you're ready for a three on three at, at any, any moment, time. At any given moment, like <laughs> three on three. Like okay, <laughs> listen. If, if if your energy was the same across the board, then I would feel that. If you're just like you should wear stuff like that either in the gym or at home, blah blah. blah. But like you literally used to wear basketball shorts S every day. Sweats to me is almost like pajamas, where it's like you it's know, like sleepwear. I basketball sleep shorts are not like sleepwear. You ever slept in basketball shorts? Ever? I have, but you it's sleeping not sleepwear. in sweats. I sleep naked. Yeah, well, I mean, I would say, nigga, niggas sleeping in sweats. That's crazy. Well, I have during and the, the cold. I've sure. definitely slept yeah, in yeah, sweats. It's super cold. Y'all niggas like, are acting like this shit is. Blankets, y'all acting like this shit is ridiculous. Sometimes I want my legs warm. I miss better living sweats. over here. You got all these extra blankets. Yeah, right. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> blankets are so expensive now. Blankets are so expensive. Bro, we gotta put I'm sweats just, on to keep warm over here. But listen, dude. we're all we we all. I mean, well, I guess you're from Russia, but like niggas, niggas is all from L. A. For real, bro. Like we don't we don't have to like be layered up at the crib. Bro, bro. Turn the like, heater, bro. Turn the heater on. Get some extra blankets. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't have no. Fuck, I didn't have no central AC or no heater. Like, bro, like you had to buy like a little plug-in heater. No bro. facts. I'm definitely sleeping. Nigga, I slept with a hoodie on and sweats on before. Like trying to be cozy. <laughs> yeah, I, of course. I mean, of course, everyone's done it. But like, as far as sleeping in sweats, just like, nah, I can't do it. Like right now. Nah, not right now, nigga. It's fucking. No, right now. Right. Right. No, not right now. Right now. But I'm saying like in this point in my life, they're not sleeping. In sweats. But can you? Matt, I don't ever see you going outside in public in sweats. No. That because it's an indoor thing. Do you see my point there? Most people Where, don't like, wear so basketball many, shorts. So many brands like, nowadays. As their outfit. So many bro. Okay, let's skip the basketball short conversation for, for a it's second. A for a second, let me land yeah. without getting okay. to that conversation. All but right. with the whole point I was trying to make is so many companies nowadays are doing the whole thing where they just print on sweats, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to be outside dripping in sweats. I'll be outside dripping in pants. Not sweats. It's like sweats is like an indoor thing. It's like I, I don't. So if get you got it. some palm angel sweats. Yeah, you're if you not got some, bro, are you? Dri like, I'm literally nah, like this nigga making palm zero like that. No, I'm just saying like, there's shit that they make so that you could be drippy outside but still be comfortable. That's the whole point of it. All right, whatever. You, you know, sweats is like. You're hungover and you're going to like the nearest bagel shop or a coffee shop. Or store. like you're running errands or you whatever, but you still okay. want right, to be drippy. You still whatever. want to be drippy. I fair. don't wear okay. sweats like that ever, so. I do, so. I never I've never sweats. seen you in sweats, yeah. Me? Who, him? Yeah. yeah he wants to hide the shrimp. Yo, pause. Ba -boom. What do you wear at the crib? What do you wear at the crib? Like, just chilling? shorts. Yeah, Boy, you are the type of nigga that got a ribbed, ribbed netting on in the middle He's of the like, fucking day. Just, so <laughs> just, just so you guys know. You would know. have ribbed netting just on. So that nigga walking know. through the house with a wetsuit on. What the fuck are you talking just about? So you know, just so you know. Y'all niggas like, yeah, I'm not wearing suits, no, but I'll no, wear a wetsuit. No, like, just so you know. <laughs> Boy fuck? shorts do not come with a net, bro. Nigga, you we definitely got the ribbed shit. net. Can you, can you do a stream at your desktop in a wetsuit, please? Why would I do that? That would be no, so fucking funny. To, and then Allie comes in and squirts water on you to keep bro, you like, so moist. Bro, niggas going to be like yeast mode and shit? Like <laughs> yeast bro, mode? You need, a, you need a spliff mode fucking... You need a spliff mode wetsuit, bro. That's, bro, trust me. I've been working on trying to get in the blink for that. But it's hard to find like a... You might have to, you might have to custom build it, my boy. From scratch. It's hard to get a good blank, a legit blank. I'll, fuck I'll, a blank. I'll sew it for you. Fuck a blank. You got to tap it with the manufacturer. I'm fucking with that camo. That shit was Dude, I've cool. been getting to sewing. I'll sew a wetsuit together for you. Yeah, I, I really want that. 
That shit. Oh, gonna, thanks for not believing in me. He's gonna, he's gonna like purposely. No, nah, I was gonna say some sus shit. Let's stop being sus. <laughs> I make like a little hole you where the dick is. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, hey, like, everything's perfect. This but... sweater is fire. I'm not going to hold you. I would wear this fit like this with different shoes, to be honest. Ew. I fuck with the pink and green. I'm not going to hold you. That shit's fire. And like, you got to think about it. Not everywhere you could just wear a t-shirt. Like, you kind of need like sweaters or like other night. Bro, I'm not going to hold you. Tell, I'm going to stop glazing you, bro. But you came so proper today with the fit. Like, this is a fit. Like, Come on like now. this is a fancy ass I'm not going to glaze you, but let me glaze you. Yeah. But look, because look, it's because, nigga, this is not like a hoodie. Like, you could, yeah. you could wear that to a, a nice dinner and they're not going to fucking hold you up at the door. Facts. That's, That's the, literally the chocolate pudding special right there, bro. Shout out season two, That's man. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the pudding pop. Shout out to season two. I fucked up. I think I said the pudding yeah, pops. Right. Sorry, scheduled. I cannot roast toke. It's impossible. Honestly, I feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, bro. I was, all right. I'm always on niggas we got the you the, know what's funny i literally just watched trappler ross's video titled the montclair murder montclair. <laughs> Jesus Christ. but um the, we got the, the montclair for williams collection the murder in montclair yeah the murder in montclair yeah. or whatever it is bro that shit is crazy man K -Flock. i bro i didn't during the gulag stream i forgot who i think it was ak47 dutta he kept donating saying Say free K Flock, and I was like, I don't know what his charges are. I'm not gonna say nothing. And he was like, he probably and, they were trolling and he too. kept making me do push ups like through the donation thing until I said free K Flock. And eventually, I was like, all right, free K Flock, free K Flock. But then I watched that Montclair murder documentary. Holy shit, dude, that shit is insane, bro. K Flock is insane, dude, bro. Yeah. The whole thing in New York, bro, and him, his crew insane. and the other crew, bro. Oh my god, bro. It's, they're all Amazing. like, they're all 15. They're but it's like that all across all, the city. They're all 13 to like 17 years old. And that's what really, like, when I watch those Trapple Ross documentaries, it really makes me, like, really View um, it from realize. A angle. And then also, I was, um, I'm not going to say who, I was, like, driving around, uh, like, East Hollywood and Echo Park the other day with my friend. And um, I, we were talking about the gang graffiti in the area, right? And he was mm -hmm. telling me, he's like, bro, he's like, I grew up in these areas. And he's like, you know, I was like a part of this whole stuff. He's like, all this graffiti that you see realistically is done by. 18 and younger year olds it's yeah. not actually done by grown male you know like adult they don't like, want to get in trouble for doing it, that shit. it's like it's like very like you know niche oriented to like you know young like yeah. tag banger type thing yeah. or whatever it is. but i got something to counter like so when we did when we went to new york for like that one company show mm. and uh fucking you feel me we we i was i was dj <laughs> i'm like what yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, just, I got it now yeah. but like i was djing and shit right i was playing songs from both sides right of course you were, and just like I'm, like, I'm trying to start like, in New York, trying to start I mean, a, no, start a riot. I, I, know, right? I don't even fucking know. <laughs> he started, yeah. he's trying like, to I'm take I'm the just, temperature I'm of just the crowd. Like, we in New York, they probably want to hear this shit. This is probably they, you know, because yeah. like in LA, you can play song from all kind of sides and niggas. That's fuck a with fact, it. but but those you know songs I mean? are different because out here, I mean, like really, the music that you're playing out there of them it's is really it's, they, it's they literally lie. disses to the other niggas. Yeah, like, yeah. like, yeah, you could play a, 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 a song from Blood, song from Crib, song from Here, whatever, out here, because it's usually not like, nigga, fuck your dead homies, yeah, yeah. be smoking See, on. I didn't even know, I, I didn't know the, like, the, <coughs> the, context. The, whole, the whole context to it and shit like that. So this, a bunch of people came up to me after the show when we was doing the meet and greet and shit, and they're like, bro. They pressed you? No, <laughs> they were just like, bro, like next time you do some shit in New York, play this shit but don't play this shit too because like, you know it like, depends on what area you're in yeah exactly too, right? they was like it was like you in this kind of area type shit we yeah. listen to they, we listen to you know they weren't mad at you whoever no 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 no, no no i don't because you know. don't know it's but like, like they were like we listen to this person we don't listen to that person so when niggas heard you playing this shit they were like everyone's yeah. looking around like what the fuck bro I, I, like those trap Ross documentaries really like tap you in to such a degree yeah that i didn't like, yeah it was like, crazy bro. but then also i just get really surprised by like damn dude it's like it's really just a, a bunch of young people just lost and then, bro. and then like by the time you're you know 25 30 if you make it to that age in that type of lifestyle like yeah you're it's like it's, triple og it's by then it's so hard like i'm 29 now right like mm. it'll be so hard for me to just to be like oh the four friends of mine that i grew up with that passed away whatever to them i'm video editing now it's like so hard just to disconnect yourself from that life oh, right? because it's you. like bro like you're basically connected to it forever just by like it, yeah. It's almost like you're turning your back on someone that's passed away in your yeah. life or some shit like that. I don't know. It's crazy, bro. It's, it's so fucked up. It's, it's so deep rooted, bro. And exactly. Like, yeah. A lot of the times it's like, I don't know. It's weird because it's like, yeah, yeah, you have a choice, but you don't have a choice to grow up in that environment. Exactly. You get me? Yeah, yeah. Like, 
you have a choice of, on what you do, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people are gonna become products of their environment because it's just in their face and that's right. their daily lives. And like like you said, their cousin, big brother, yeah. uncle, dad, and, and not only has that, gotten killed or involved in the shit exactly. or whatever. Your friends, mm -hmm. even your friend, your homies, like yeah, like that's just. Like, and, and not only that, I, I brought up this example before, I forgot where, but like um, me growing up, I had like this uh, old, you know, this group of homies that I grew up skating with, right? And for me, I was like the youngest kid in the group. And for me to like earn kudos or respect from my, you know, older homies or for my homies in the group, it was to do skateboard tricks. Yeah. If I came through to the crew and said, yo guys, I just kick flipped the five star, they'd be like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, like dab me up and shit. And like, you know, we'd celebrate. Imagine my friends were celebrating me like, killing someone or robbing yeah then all of a sudden my trying to offer you the pookie when my, you were 15 my incentives like as a kid like dramatically change you know what i mean like and that really yeah. shows you like that you know you're really a product of, of your environment and like i'm grateful that my homies like were like kind yeah. of pushing me to skate Facts. you know whereas like if you grew up with certain homies they might push you to do other things but you know, to whatever. be honest though you like like you don't give me the type of vibe that like you're just hella easily influenced anyway because it seemed like no, cause I mean, it's, I can't even say it seemed like nigga. One thousand percent, you were one of the first people I knew that was on the streaming shit Fact. and on the live streaming shit and taking it seriously and like trying to build that shit up from day one. Yeah, so I don't think motherfuckers was pushing you to do that, nigga. That was you doing that shit on your own. But when I was a kid, I, I for sure was like easily influenced. Like I, I remember, uh, but like you learn your lessons. Like I remember, yeah, like when yeah. I was a kid, like my homies used to always like steal bikes, and I got into stealing bikes too for sure at a, at a certain point. I didn't Damn, get, this I nigga never, was a klepto. Like, I never. God. I never Damn. got caught, but like we would steal bikes and sell them on eBay, like to make money. But anyways, yeah. uh, my when I was like, like fixies and shit. Yeah, all types of yeah. different bikes. But when I was like a kid, like sixteen, seventeen, um, basically, uh, I saw my homies were stealing bikes. I saw this opportunity to steal a bike, and then I ended up stealing it, right? Mm -hmm. And then the place I stole it from was a fat burger. And then like a week or two later, I came through, and I like overheard coincidentally a conversation about the du this dude who was like, "I'm a cook here." And he's like stressing about how like he can't get to work because his bike's missing. And I'm like, damn, bro. Like fucking I'm like eerie. the cause of this fucking shit. And I felt so. You fucking, had already sold it by that point? It was already gone. With, it was over with. <laughs> then, like, like I just had this like overwhelming feeling of guilt of just like, damn, bro. Like you see the consequences of your actions. And I like I stopped doing it after that point. Yeah. But I was just like, it takes you learning these lessons of like, you know, you like. You full of shit. You didn't stop doing it. You turned it up a notch. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like where that nigga auntie bike at, nigga? Oh, you like, like fuck their whole family. Wait, nigga, but hold on. I realized that we didn't go through this Pharrell Montclair at all. We just started talking about oh, yeah, uh, yeah. fucking the That's murder. That's what's great about this podcast. Oh wait, good. look at the look at the fucking um, the murder in Montclair. The, the, it actually says for, I, I don't think I would want to. I don't think I would want to spend that much money on a Montclair jacket and say Pharrell. Whoa, yeah, wait, that I would be irritated. Wait, that is that on the uh, back of the? That's like That's the, on the patch side, on the on arm. The, on the yeah. patch on the arm. Oh, so okay. yeah, so so look, so all their puffer jackets like that, Yuri, they all come with that logo and it says Montclair. But that patch is ex big, it's, way bigger than no, no. no it usually comes like that. No, that large. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it depends. Sometimes, it, yeah. it depends what style jacket it is. But, but sometimes you just come no, like that. Yeah, like like for this specific one, again, this is the monochromatic shit. Like on yeah. some like like in, in the same family of blues. You feel me? Yeah. Sometimes it comes that big on the chest though. Yeah, it's not on the arm. It, it really depends on which jacket yeah, and like what they got going on. But I would—I swear I've seen Montclair jackets. I've seen that that emblem, but it's not that large. So that I'm has saying to be they, like specific yeah, to that collab. Yeah, for sure. yeah. I'm no, saying it's a different style of jackets. Yeah, like they like they they have smaller ones. They got medium ones. Yeah. They got big ones. Like it depends on who they're collabing oh, okay, with. Okay, okay. You know what? Oh, you know what was the hardest shit, bro? That one's sick. The, Mo the Montclair Palm Angels puffers, bro. bro. That shit was ridiculous. Bro, bro, the jacket looked like the track jacket, but it was a puffer jacket. Yeah, and that shit was 3K. Literally. Was nah, I was, nigga, I was about to get one for like 15. I just, I didn't want to do it. Me and, and me and Ali seen that shit when we, when we went to, when we went to Paris. I mean, Let's not to Paris, when we went one? to, Sorry. We went to uh, France and shit. We seen uh, that fucking puffer and was fucking three three thousand yep. euros. I was like, bro, three thousand euros. That's like bruh. I don't know, like a three four hundred dollars more, I guess, or yeah, something bruh. like that. Like, I was like, nigga, is this like a a fisherman like jacket? a tactical vest? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, something like that. I honestly just like because uh, just for functionality reasons, like I used to not fuck with all the extra pockets because I thought it looked silly. But now that I need to carry all my, all this bullshit with me all the time, <laughs> yeah. That looks so beneficial. Like I would kind of fuck with that idea of having. If you if you had that on, yeah. if you had that on and some cargo pants, you could literally stream, you could have, like bro. You wouldn't even need the backpack. You could stream off of your fucking I chest. I could have my whole bedroom with me, basically. This <laughs> 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 nigga got his one bedroom on his Montclair bed. <laughs> bro, you bro, you got the camera right here. It, 
You got the fa- wow. The fans on your if, fucking. Yeah. If someone if someone says run your pockets, I'm gonna be like, you have 45 minutes. Like, <laughs> 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 nigga said, run your pockets and fucking. You gotta open every. I think he said morning. you have 45 minutes. Look, look, look. The camera's up there, off rip. Oh yeah, that's the, the camera up there, off rip. That's yeah. the camera one. Nigga, you got oh, the fans God. underneath. Yo, nigga, and you got the and you, you got, got enough room for Blink at the bottom. Yeah, you got Blink. You got Blink, and you got portable charger. Fuck yeah. you talking about? You're like you run what? Bro, it's, oh, it's, it's over with. Yo, um, yo got, someone hey. send me this Montclair Jack so I can no, turn need, it, we, need, we need a donation goal. You got the you got the laptop in the fucking <laughs> in the back pouch under the uh, oh, p- uh, panel or a we patch the, or whatever. We need the donation goal for my boy. <laughs> Nigga, we gotta run up to three bands so Yuri yeah. can get this vest. No, nah, but for real though, if someone's like ever like, yo, like, let me see what you got in the pockets, I'm be like, I have fifty. You like pockets. which one, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly. It's literally over it. I got Mr. Krabs pants and, on and, right and, now. And if you really wanted to get that security with it, you could just buy those little locks for each one of them. I, know. you're like, <laughs> that's crazy. I don't like, know the codes to them. Yeah, bro. like it's over with. I can't open my. This nigga just takes your whole fucking jacket, <laughs> rips their whole vest. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a. I'm not. I'm a, not fucking with I'm the not, puffer. I'm about to say I'm not. The puffer bucket is kind of. Crazy. I'm not. That shit looks stupid. As I do. Fuck. I do like a. I do like like the puffer pants. The puffer yeah. uh, hat though kind of acts like a helmet though. If you fall over. <laughs> If you Yuri needs, <laughs> Yuri needs. Bro, what is the name? Of, what is the name of that band that used to wear that? Like that band that used to wear that shit. Like oh, they used wait, to wear the, with the red. Yeah, yeah, with, with the, the red, red thing. What is that shit called? Chat. What is that uh, band called? <laughs> oh, with the red hat. It's Make like a old. Band in the chat. Please tell me what. What? The... I don't even know. It's a band that used to wear to get the red ones. It was like three niggas or some shit. <laughs> three niggas or three niggas. Three white. Three white. No, I think it was like like five of them. <laughs> I thought he... The N word right now. I'm so high. He's like, no. <laughs> My pass has been revoked. Bro, I looked up at him so fast. <laughs> I can't smoke on the podcast no more. I literally turned retarded, bro. bro so, what it, excuse my language. Is it not Devo? Devo? Devo, yeah. Damn, 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 bro. And retarded is fine to say now. It's That's cool. funny. <laughs> Devo, Devo. <laughs> Me. I forgot what song they made, though. What song did they make? What song was they like? What was a popular song? I don't know. Uh, yeah, like Devo. Yeah, Devo. Yeah, there you go. You see, there's five of them. I was right. You were. And they got the stupid hats on. But what was, like, what was a popular song, bro? We I definitely forget. can't. It's, it's called Devo. It's called Devo. <laughs> I'm going to go home and just type in, like, I'm going to go home and watch the six hour uh, Patreon version of the Devo, the Devo documentary by um, Traveler Ross. It's called, know, like, right? Mr. Robotic. Do you have the lighter? Oh, Mr. Robotic? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Robot. That's them? Though. Yeah, that's them. Oh, They're okay. legends then, actually. The only reason why I know of them is because of this old show that was on Cartoon Network. It was only it had like a couple episodes, maybe even one season, but it was called um, The Diaries or like something Robot Jones. It was like called something Robot Jones. Mm, and in that yeah. cartoon, they had this dude who wore that hat. And that's the only reason why I fucking even know about that shit. Speaking of music and um, shit like that. Wait, wait, man, we gotta go fuck y'all nigga? Oh, we gotta go through, no, we're not done. I think we gotta see go through this. What's um, Domi already say, got oh, yeah, that's good. yeah. All right, yo, we have packages to open. Shout out to everyone that that sends us. Pa- we should wait for Blazzy, right? Like honestly, well, like we don't have packages to open because uh, I think those are returns. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, oh, we got we have the opposite, dude. Yeah, yeah everything's uh, everything's yeah. terrible. I owe YouTube money. We we got return yeah, we packages got here. But it's not even for none of us. It's actually for Horizon. Let's open a Horizon's gift. What? Fuck it. Yeah. All right. So let's play with it too. So, that's so tight. Somebody, no, ah, dude, somebody sent Horizon. A birthday gift. Somebody? It's probably uh, the name right there. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think I say, say the it. first name. No, it, it's not the name right here. It just says to, to for tell, you know, to the mm-hmm. fucking P.O. box shit. Oh, wow. But, uh, yeah, he said, Maybe he'll say he hit me up on Instagram and was like, yo, bro, I send a gift for Horizon. It says to biggest bros, not for toke. Yeah, okay. No, I'm joking. Well, look, I'm saying open it up. It might say something. Here, you need, here, yeah, just use it. my key. We're just, no, I was oh, kidding about opening up Horizon's gift, guys. I don't think we should do it. Oh, wait. I, the, why not? That key I mean, has no sharp edges. No, yes. Yeah, here, like, uh, the light, light it. Light the uh, tape on fire. Light it? Bro, it's here. Light it. Just, if you got a key, just oh, key it. My shit. My None shit, of us have keys over here. Yeah, yeah, mine's a fob. That's why. Oh my key. god, bro! This is the oh, dangers of the he future. Got him, he got him, he got no one him. has a key to open up a damn box, dude. Yeah. Yeah, we want to get into this proper case. But he hit me up on Instagram and told me he was sending this though. But shout out to him, bro. Uh, let's see. Wait, yo, could you pass this cup to? Yeah, Riley, I got you. Tito's? Yeah. Oh, Tito's. 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 Oh, Tito's.
and you're gonna have to grab it back in a second. Yeah, I'm, thank I'm you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, bro, it's another box, so I don't know. Damn, <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> Wait, it maybe the be. other box is another just, box. You know what, bro? I'm gonna find your name on Instagram. I'm gonna give you a shout out on Swift on TV or on the slash show tomorrow. It's definitely a toy. It says Spin Master Toys. Wow. Toy. It's about to be some uh, crazy uh, shit. If Horizon's watching this, you just leaked it. Great. First of all, Horizon, Horizon sorry, you got a Spin Master. This. Horizon's not watching oh, this. Oh, could you grab the yeah. cup? Oh, speaking of cup, did Blazzy not re release? His double cup? He did, definitely. It's uh, not here, or is it that one? one? No, 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 it's not this one. I should definitely Wait, take this off camera. But yeah. shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much, man. I'm gonna take this one off camera, because this is not it, actually. But Blazzy has re-released his double cup. It's on nothingpersonal.com, guys. Go check it out. Fire a new product. And Blazzy, honestly, I feel like um, he's been like getting uh, more and more consistent with his releases, where at first yeah. I feel like they're a couple months apart, whereas now it's starting to become like damn um, near every month is a new release yeah and then also he like will release the fucking like the matchbooks and other stuff that's just you know affordable pieces of like nice collections of the yeah that's right blazzy let's get this work let's get this work speaking hey speaking of work man slot show tomorrow man if you guys want your music heard i will i don't think i'm gonna do it here i think I, i'm gonna do it from home because i have some stuff to do later in the day and then <clears throat> but um but yeah, but I'll leave it I will be doing it at home, but slot show from eleven to probably around like three thirty ish. <laughs> four, I don't know. Depending on how it goes. But uh yeah, if you do want your music heard or you want to come through and listen to some music, please pull up tomorrow. I will be doing that. Let's so. go. Also, yo, guys, huge, huge shout out to the fucking reconnected army and to the biggest right. bros army because guys I'm so, sure people have noticed that, you know, we're not terribly well at schedule scheduling things ahead of time. Or you know, nothing. Maybe our thumbnail scheme doesn't really stay cohesive <laughs> and all this other stuff. But <clears throat> at the end of the day, at least two of us is going to be here to hold yeah. things down and keep things going. And like always, guys, like we've talked about this before, like on one of the episodes, Blasi has a lot of shit he's dealing with. Hell yeah. You have a lot of shit you're, you know, uh, fucking working on and dealing with as mm -hmm. well. Like yeah. we all have things that we're all working on. Yeah. This is not like something that's just like bringing us millions of dollars yeah. that we're just like oh we got to do this because we're just making so much bread off it yeah. this is really like a like, like kind of really like a passion project yeah. because we fuck with it we fuck with you guys and we fuck with just having a conversation with each other you know what i mean at the end of the day and, and i'm not gonna lie like i fucking like seeing y'all niggas every week and catching up and just like yeah. exactly talking shit to each other like this is fun and like for the people to feel like they're watching us and they feel like they're fucking just smoking with us, chilling in the same room, bro. Like oh that shit yeah. means the world to us, bro. And exactly. Like, like you know, I think I think we will smooth shit out like as we go along and as we like you know can have more people helping us and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Like I think we'll smooth shit out, but just seeing our core people still fuck with us and wanting to fuck with us and then you know everybody yeah. separately doing their own shit, bro. I'm not gonna hold you like. Y'all niggas both inspired me to really get on this shit and really like that. I'm just kind of like wasting. I'm, I'm I'm bullshitting by not doing it and like just knowing that the people want to see us interact with each other. They want to see us do our own shit separately. Like they wanted to see all of it. Yeah. I fucking appreciate y'all. I appreciate fucking Riley on the boards. Sorry, I appreciate Riley. fucking Blasi for letting us use his space. Even when he's like gone. Yeah. I appreciate I appreciate Togue, even though he stole all the hats and took all the different colors. I know for real. You feel me? <laughs> I think he took the tech decks as well. Those yes. things are missing. Yeah, everything. I don't, know, I don't know. I think we had like more pictures on the wall. Bro, literally, I'm like, well. where the high rollers? Wow, bro. Yeah, 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 all that shit goes. That's go. crazy, dude. If, oh. we, we tune into Togue's stream later tonight. It's all all <laughs> this thing is just in his background. We're like, Imagine. oh, wait, that kind of. It's all lined up That's on his wall, dude. Wow, bro. But yeah, no, look. No, but re real talk, though. Whoever rate these hats, please send us more, bro, because these shits are so fire. And I also, real one. talk, shout out to everyone that watches. Because also, at the end of the day, you know, one thing I always, like, realize, uh, at least, like, through my chat, is, like, just the community that people find in, like, you know, uh, in situations like this is, like, really, like, bro, like... I remember, you know, working my, uh, you know, uh, like first couple of jobs back in the day, I would come home and it felt like I was just in this like quarantine zone of like, because of my job, I would come home. All my homies had already skated that day. So like they're already home at that time. So by the time I get home, I have nothing to do other than just like smoke weed, eat dinner, go to sleep and then go to work the next day. But then yeah. when you like have a podcast to tune into like this, it kind of gives you that 
homey vibe of like being a part of the conversation yeah. and especially when you have like a live chat it really lets you be a part of the conversation and like talk with other people in the community and shit like yeah, that no, that's a fact. and it's sick so shout no, out to but, everyone yeah honestly um yeah I've, i i feel like since i've been just trying to chill more and just be you know to myself and just you know spending more time working on high roller shit oh, i just got i got these made today to go with the brown skate shoes hold on I was gonna say, dude, uh, house form. Like, you you do actually spend time, like, even more time than I do in uh, the Discord. Like, eventually, I feel like you should create your own house oh, phone Discord. My God, bro! The couple times that I've been in your Discord talking to people, it's insane. I, I've been on fucking on the thing with them to like fucking six, seven in the morning, bro. Shout like, these niggas record. are just funny as fuck. Bro, like, they're arguing with each other and like that's beefing all they with do each is other. Argue, like, dude. I, I don't announce every time I'm in the Discord, but like, please some, start telling. Sometimes, me. like, I'll be tuning in randomly, <laughs> like mm -hmm. all times of the day, tuning in, and there's like seven, eight people, and they're talking. And and I'm like, dude, like other, that yeah. shit's active as fuck, and I have to give a huge shout out to everyone in the Yuri Court. Shout out to everyone. Shout out to the Yuri Court, bro. Them niggas be in there just like, you're a straight bitch, though. It's like, yo, yo, household, yo, household's in here, man. Like, fucking shut the fuck up, you fucking da da da. Like, stop disrespecting our goats. I'm like, yo, shout out to you, bro. They be really, bro. They be really in there going hard on each other, bro. It was it was this one nigga. It was this one nigga. They were all like they were all beefing it with him. But then I saw why, because he was just drunk and he was just talking mad shit. He was talking mad shit, but I'm not gonna lie, it was hilarious. I'm not Man, gonna they lie. They be getting you. fucked up on here, bro. Let me no, but look, that. look, this up. one nigga, he just kept repeating the same shit. He kept like, bro, he kept going in on this one. Like this one dude on your thing was getting like mad. I'm like, bro, you have to realize. Like you're it's never gonna run guy. into this nigga, bro. It's like so many people. Like, like so, Toke has set up two fights already through the Discord, <laughs> bro. No, I no, 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 no. That sounds crazy. Oh, you no, have, no, you no, have. No, no, no. I'm not capping. No, I'm not no, no, capping. No, no. It sounds. You literally crazy. have. You set up two squabbles. Two squabbles. Wait, wait. Can it? Can I? Can it? Yo, dude, no, no. Yo, wait. That sounds crazy. That sounds you like, have though. That sounds this, like the most Toke thing that you this, could do though. That's this crazy, literally had nothing to do with me. Nah, you definitely you, you literally said Mimi in Venice Beach. Like, no, come here. Okay, that was different. That oh, was different. Oh, oh, you, oh, you start. You, you set up a fight between you and somebody yeah, else. Yeah, somebody else tried to squabble me, and I was like, all right, come here, type shit. But I'm talking about. <laughs> I thought the, you meant you talking, set up two. Oh no, no. There was two people in my in my I Discord. Told you, I told There's you. two people in my Discord that met up to fight. Like two separate. <laughs> Two separate groups of people met because you were, in my Discord. Because Tuck was like, oh, you going to let that nigga talk and shit like that? I wasn't you? even oh, that shit. I was even, bro. Literally, people do nothing. I, heard I, don't, that, know what, I don't know what it is. I'm not going to say the name. The person previously, I heard the beef is squashed. You guys aren't going to fight no more. But then I heard recently there's been another beef that's been announced that you guys might end up squabbling. Oh, so yeah, that's what I'm bro. saying. Oh, that's what I'm saying. There's two squabbles. I'm a squabble. The one bro. that you posted on also, your story. Yo, no. speaking of the Yuri Court, this ain't no secret. So I'm not exposing something. But Tok made this made me aware of this earlier today. The Yuri Court, like I said, I'm not in there all the time, but apparently there's like girls in there selling themselves in my Yuri Court <laughs> to the other members. This is the most craziest thing I, I ever thought heard it was in my this, life. I was like, what? Bro, you about crazy. to get you about to get the whole Discord back? They in there, they in there arguing and selling pussy, bro. What the fuck? I swear he told me they were trying to give me the riz. Some he girl told me this today, and know. I was like, "What?" I was like, "Bro, no." I was like, "I haven't heard a drop of this." I had like Bro. usually so someone, they linking you, up. And usually someone in the chat would be like, "Yuri, this is happening in your Discord, ball. You should check this out." And I'll hit up Ethan or Dog, and I'd be like, "Yo, what's going on?" Hey, can you, can you bring up the chat? Chat, tell me if I'm lying. I'm flying. If I'm lying, I'm flying. What does <laughs> that mean? I'm You're flying. out of here. <laughs> oh wait, you never even talked about this one. Oh no, look, bad. look. Um, this is like a like a vintage wash, vintage dyed fucking. Neapolitan colorway. I haven't seen the zip up version of this. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I don't know. I like, you know, sometimes I like to be loose. I like to, you know, have a little half zip, unzipped all the way with a, with, with a nice tee on underneath yeah, or something. Yeah. You, you could go toke. You could go toke and not wear no shirt underneath and, and have, have your nipples out. Hey, let me know if I'm tripping here. The only thing, not, you know, not with like, you know, you're like just with zip ups versus like, hoodies. Wow, the only thing that ruins it for lying. me. Like, bro, the only thing that ruins it for me. Stuff. No, no, no. Is the. I like having the full pocket in the bottom. Of having that full ass pocket. Oh. As soon as you add the These zip, pockets good, your though. pockets are decreased. No, they, they definitely are, but like. I know. like having that full pocket right there. You could put hella okay, shit right there. Pause, you. pause. You could put hella nah, shit right there. Babe, I, got you. I felt that. Call me after. Oh, you're in trouble. No. Oh, you're in trouble. Trouble, trouble. Boom, boom, boom. That's crazy. Oh, my fucking God. Hey, yo, look. When yeah, I need to know when when's the next year, the next Yuri fucking Discord night. I need to jump in because that should be funny. As Tonight, 
It tonight? Seems like, well, I'm going live tonight after this guy. Oh, well, so they, we're, tonight. that means it's going up. That's like GTA. I, I wasn't even planning on going Discord. I'm over GTA, but I'm not. I wasn't even planning on going on Discord, but I might end up going on Discord. But no, um, listen, fuck Yuri. Even if Yuri don't come on, we meeting up in Yuri's go. in Yuri's Discord. All right, tonight. then I'll for sure have to go live. Then yeah, I'll, no, I'll no. show that on live. But tomorrow. Lucha and I, I think Kev's gonna come through. Uh, you said you might, I might, I might, you might end, end up coming through, but then you're doing your stream as well. But I'm doing two different tomorrow. Stream uh, Lucha, Lucha and I are doing a oh, magnet stream? fishing stream. Wait, we're going. You're doing a what fishing stream? Magnet fishing stream. Okay. Where you go? We're gonna go to the LA River and go magnet fishing. Oh, okay. Magnet okay. fishing is like where you grab a really powerful net, a magnet, uh -huh. throw, throw into a river or a pond of water, and see what you and can then get. see what you can get. And the LA What's River, like the heaviest it'll it'll pick up? Uh, I think the one we, we want to get is like up to 300 pounds, but they have really strong what? ones. So 300 pounds, you could lift like a lime scooter type shit. Yeah, literally. The thing I'm worried about the LA River is like uh, how many needles we're going to like attract to the fucking uh, magnets. Literally. But then also I'm You're wondering, pick up COVID. I'm thinking we can get a free blick out of this. How many you know free blicks? You I can don't get want out? any of that. You don't want no L.A. River blicks, Wait, bro. bro. You don't want anything. <laughs> I'll, I'll, don't, lo, if you if you that don't shave the serum, I'll clean it. Back. I'll clean it. I'll clean it with no, some alcohol. Kick that shit straight back. You get anything like that? I'm gonna clean it with some alcohol. Scratch off the serial number. Everything will be fine. Yeah, it's over with. Wait, can I have the? Wait, do you have the lighter? Right what here. what what oh, you doing this tomorrow? Yeah, I'm doing this. What tomorrow. time are you doing yours? Uh, I don't know exactly right okay, now. Okay, well look. Mine's in the morning, so. Toke's going to do a slot show at what time? 11 a.m.? Yeah. All right, 11. so let's say it might even start at 10. All right. Well, a.m.? Yeah. Well, look, I'll do mine. I like the order early morning vibes. I I'll, I'll do mine for like uh, let's say 2 p.m. then. Yeah, that's true. I feel like we should not be worried about overlapping streams. And this is a conversation. No, I'm, well, I'm just about saying. Before. I'm just saying. I I have two specific things that I have to do after, so it has to be on a, a certain oh, time. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? That's the only reason why I was saying oh, okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. Like so, I, I have to take this like Zoom meeting call at 3 p.m. and then I I gotta uh, go to Trev spot at 6 p.m. So I'm like. How long would it really take me to design? I feel like uh, doesn't designing take like a long time? Yeah, but I feel like I feel like I could get at least one or two full graphics done in like an hour or two. I feel like it depends on the graphic because like I, a I've, simple mock-up. I've, I've sat into the the, the the designing sessions with the Blazzy before and yeah, like but every design, especially with like ones that like really matter, it seems like yeah. it takes all day basically. Yeah, but listen, but listen, what I'm saying is, you could put together a basic layout. Of what the of the concept and like get the concept from your brain to a mock up in in a couple hours for okay, sure. Okay. I'm well, saying you, you I'm not like I'm not design. I'm gonna do rough draft. I'm not yeah. gonna like go into the full details yeah, of like yeah, yeah. like like shading in the shadow and like exactly. all, like I'm gonna put together like just rough drafts and I'll probably do one. I'll do maybe one or two from someone's brand from the chat, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll figure out a way of how to do it. Like maybe through um. It would be cool if uh, if eventually like some of these designs you made like specifically the ones that everyone really no. fucks with in the release chat, them. either release them or even no. do like you know specific uh, you know like be like yo for anyone that's a member to the YouTube channel you or to like anyone that's like a Patreon member y'all get the fucking you know the but shirt listen. designs because you know we know a dude who like can just print fucking you 1, know, minimum you know like five six shirts or ten shirts or twelve or twenty shirts for you you know real quick. Bro, listen, this is exactly why I need to tap in with you because that was a fucking great idea. Exactly. Like, and like, I just, I just want to, I just want to do shit that I don't see people doing for real. And I just want to, I just want to try a couple different things because like, this is me getting comfortable with it. And I just want to see what sticks right now. I want to see what people like and I'll do more of those. I feel like this is going to be easier to lean into than trying to do the uh making music shit because i don't want to keep running into this copyright shit yeah yeah exactly the copyright thing is definitely like a whole thing because uh the copyright thing is not a big deal right if you delete the stream immediately afterwards but you would want the stream to stay up so people can rewatch it and like you know maybe potentially even get ad revenue off it or something like that but yeah. um yeah that's where it gets difficult and that's why like you have to fall into those steps of like a Kenny Beats type vibe where it's all original. You bring in an original beat maker, which mm. would even make it more dynamic. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, facts. And like, just like you were saying with Biggest Bros, your your streams that you just started on yeah. the, uh, what channel it is? Uh, House Phone, right? At Lil House Phone. At Lil House Phone. If we have any mods, drop the link, right? Yeah, drop uh, that. Yeah, youtube.com slash Lil House Phone. Lil House Phone. Guys, drop a sub on uh, House Phone's channel. How often are you gonna be streaming every week now? All right, so I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the phone booth 
on Saturdays, 6 p.m. Okay. And then um, I'm going to do at Which least... Which phone booth is what? Like, you listening to music? or No, no, no. It's just like... You making music? No, the, that's just me... That's just me chopping it up. Honestly, I didn't do anything. Invite I me just, on an episode or I just, two. I just, yeah, bro. Are you joking? Of course. Yeah, I just I've been doing it at, at Brooks's crib. I've been doing it at Brooks's crib uh, with him. Shout out to him. He's definitely been helping me out and all Shout that out shit. To Brooks. And then um, and also I'm sorry uh, that like um, you know I I remember we talked about doing the this uh, you know like how, uh, you selling your streams and all that stuff, well, look, helping you with stuff. But, but like look, you, I just get so caught up in my shit that I know I haven't been able to help as much as no, like, but, I probably potentially promised. But, but I'm look, down to help. You know, but look on some real shit. Like you even offering that is what made me be like, I need to like do this and not play. Mm -hmm. And I was, you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna wait till you got back and then just wait and be like, oh, like Yuri, can you help me? But yeah. I'm like, dude, fuck that. I'm gonna start, and show him that I'm serious about it first. Yeah. Cause, I, Cause look, one, one thing about you, Yuri, I really do respect the fact that like, you kinda are on some like, bro, like, I'm grinding it out. I'm fucking thugging it out. Like I like like I feel like you want to work with people who is taking shit serious. Like you're not trying to just bullshit around. You feel me? No facts. And, exactly. And I'm like, you feel me? Like I'm gonna start it. Show him that I'm being serious first, mm -hmm. and he can help me improve it or help me whatever if he wants to help me still. Yeah. But I'm yeah. like, you inspire me when you're like, bro, you we can fucking do it here. We do the stream goal and whatever. And I'm like, and bro, guess what? It's like. Um, since the beginning, beginning when we were like still in Melrose days, yeah, right? And yeah. then also like I really started like doing more streams when we were at the Santa Monica office. Yeah, yeah. But uh, since those days, um, it was like, you know, uh, not a secret. It's like I for sure like have acknowledged it and talked about it before where like you, I've said this before, like you specifically, like you don't, you're not a live streamer. Now you are, right? But yeah. you're not, you were not a live streamer ever. You never yeah. live streamed, but any live stream that you were connected to where mm -hmm. that you would hop onto where it would said with low house phone you would have a minimal minimum of like 300 people who would pull up it doesn't yeah. matter it could be like a new channel someone's like hey i'm doing my first live stream it's with house phone mm -hmm. you can have like 300 people who pull up and dude to pull 300 people just randomly off rip with no consistency no like yeah. you know back catalog or anything like that just yeah. off rip is insane and just shows how many people are interested in like honestly just like your energy because so many people can you know hop on live or whatever it is but yeah. it's like hard to keep that like you know uh, like exciting you know creative energy and shit like that but also Not like that. i feel like the main thing i uh the main rule i feel like i would follow for you is mm -hmm. like just to stay off your phone yeah, yeah and i have I you know it. like i haven't really seen you be on your phone too much for yeah. your uh, live streams your past two live streams but yeah. it's like i feel like that's the main thing that like will distract the audience and also for you and for just sure be like, and just be like what the why am i watching this exactly nigga on this but phone? like anything you have to do on your phone i would handle it beforehand and yeah. then once you hop on live just focus on the chat and the live and like bro yeah. just your personality alone is like it attracts so many people every time i appreciate you know? it bro yeah. and, and you know what shit bro I'm gonna take any constructive criticism, especially from you on this specific thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna let you teach me how to dress, but I will for <laughs> sure let you teach me anything about this shit because you know what the well, fuck you're talking about. There's nothing I could teach you because when I was when I was pulling fucking 10, 12 viewers, and then I did yeah. a stream saying, "Hey, I'm with House Phone," it would be like a hundred plus viewers. Mm. So obviously, whatever you're doing off rip naturally is already working for you. You know what I mean? But well, all, all I'm saying is like, you know, just sometimes i feel like you know because you're so free-spirited you'll be all like on your phone sometimes yeah. i'm like during a live stream yeah but during, it really distracts you as a viewer during yeah. these ones that i just did i wasn't like the and you weren't time, that's what i'm saying you weren't at all I, like i watched when, them when i was doing the make music stream though i i, I had to like uh I had to like send the certain beats and shit like that, but yeah. I definitely, bro, like I definitely thought about that because I was just like, they're gonna be watching, and if they're watching, they're paying attention, and they're kind of just like in and out or whatever. And it's super engaging, bro. It's like within yeah. seconds, it's like yeah. no, you do sure. something, and then within ten seconds, fifteen seconds, someone's saying something about it. So no, if you, if they tune in, if they're literally like, and you're hey, looking I'll, at your phone oh, for like two minutes, if like imagine like someone wasn't, if you were streaming for an hour and a half, and yeah. someone didn't watch the first hour and a half, they just they got just off work in. or some shit like that, and then they're just tuning in and then they tune in and to you mentally you're like i've been live for an hour and a half it's not a big deal if i'm on my phone right yeah but you hop on your phone they just tune in and they yeah. ju they just see you on your phone they're probably going to tune out you know what i mean like no, that's a shit. fact that's a fact i, I mean, mean that's the only reason why like i say that type of shit i and it's I hard to do especially when you do long streams yeah. it's like i've compared it to uh, you know being on radio like imagine yeah. fucking Niggas do no do no letty and uh and uh rosecrans vic mm -hmm. like bro when they're on radio they can't ever be like uh Oh yeah, yeah. so uh, I don't know. It's that, like they can't. They have yeah, to be on yeah. go the whole time, all fucking eight hours or whatever it is. They're all like yeah. you know doing the radio show for. 
Yeah, and like, shit, like. They said Toka's gone. Were, 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 they, were they having, like, the, there was music segments and shit on their show in the morning, too? Um, I, I, didn't have, I didn't have no radio. I didn't tap in. I haven't really listened to too many of their shows, but I was driving. Fuck, I can't remember, dude. I was driving a car the other day, and uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, um, I was driving Riley's car the other day, and Riley was listening to the radio, and I was like driving somewhere, and I just left it on, and then I hear like, "This is Letty," blah 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 blah, and I was like, <laughs> what, like the "What the fuck? fuck?" I was like, "No way!" I was like, "I actually." That's tight. I was like, "I somehow." This is Letty. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "I somehow know this person on the radio," and then I, I was start, starting to put it uh, put it together. I was like, "Damn, bro!" Like. Yeah, man, this shit's hard, bro. Like the radio thing is like literally kind of like live streaming, but even more difficult. Where you can't, it's like a, a lot of podcasts. People are really like yeah. going, "Uh, yeah, I don't know." Like they're really thinking about their, you know, what yeah. they want to say. But on a you radio ca- you show, it, you, you gotta, gotta be fly. going on the, the whole time, speaking that's, fluently, not fucking up your words. You yeah, know, that, not that's cursing, why. It, that's why it shit. takes. That's why it takes like a certain. It definitely takes a certain person or a certain personality to do that for sure. For sure. No facts. Speaking of Duno though and shit like that, I definitely just seen that he did uh, his first stand up, bro. Yeah, it was funny as fuck. That I takes like the so laugh. much bravery, bro. Bro, and like that's so scary. Bro, I'm not gonna hold you. It was funny. Like the clip that I seen was funny. I hope the whole was it about his mom. <laughs> oh my god, that yeah. shit was jokes, bro. Bro. Yeah, that's, I seen that Listen, shit on Instagram. We are in the we are in the time where we're about to see a lot of people that we like. He's like, young, bro. Bro, he's still like he's, he's not twenty one no more. The, yeah, the I'm only twenty two, fool. Yeah, wait, he's not twenty two no more. Yeah, it's but over with. He's no, like twenty three now, but no, but like, bro, I'm just saying like. Since niggas first knew him, like I've been seeing how like motherfuckers react, motherfuckers react to him so crazy. Like I remember when we all took that big trip to Vegas one time, bro. Literally everywhere, nobody was stopping me as much. Ad Adam, bro. None of us, they, none of us, they was stopping like that. Do know every fucking two steps he was taking it'll be like one person will see him and then a whole family will see him and then it'll be Dude, like i'm telling you when when uh when duno came to uh to do uh, uh either 10 talks or harmonious hour when he came through to my place right yeah. he parked at the end of the street and i see him park at the, at the end of the street and i'm like yo duno like over here and he's yeah. like walking towards me i'm like standing there waiting waiting for him to walk towards me a truck like drives past me drives past duno i see them hit the brakes They're reverse like, oh my God. and then all of a sudden i'm thinking like oh shit, they're about like, to do something like, what's gonna happen blah blah right three dudes hop out and they're like do no do no we're such a big fan they all take photos with them and i'm like bro he just parked two seconds ago he, uh, his feet just touched his the concrete feet, like he took like five <laughs> steps and he's taking a photo with someone in my area i'm like i really realized at that point i was like bro he's like bro, listen, so well known dude. Listen, it's insane we went to like i said we we're in vegas <laughs> on our way from the front desk to the elevator nigga he probably took a hundred pictures bro. bro like literally and like, i thought about that before we're like you know, especially after the stand-up special and like other st- things i've seen of duno and literally not just duno with uh, other people yeah. which is you think about how um bro this content creation world is it's the long run you know what i mean like it's yeah. not like who will become the biggest person ever and then stay the biggest person forever it's not like that it's, it's literally like who's all. who stays in for the long run and who can like you know keep a level headed and also not be silly with their money or whatever it is right yeah. but like at the end of the day, I was really thinking like, bro, in 20, 30 years, Duno might be like, you know what I mean? Like a household oh comedian. Duno's going to com- be like George Lopez, house- bro. Ex- exactly. I swear house- to God. Household comedian name. You, we all are you, going to be. You might be like a fucking like, you know, uh, you know, a household fashion name of just like, you know, people, many, many, many people looking up. It's just like, you don't, you never, you don't even know what's going to happen. Toke's going to be the first black surfer there ever was, the bro. Person the who's, first professional no, black surfer. He's oh, going to set a Guinness go. book. We're going to see like Vice documentary saying, this man has only survived off beer for the last 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> what if Tokes lives to like 200 years old and the, and, and the secret of him staying alive was just fat, just fat tires? I don't know. For me, it might be like this man has been live for 400 years, in a 400 <laughs> fucking weeks straight. Uh, like, just, I don't know. Like, all his hair bro, turned white. <laughs> bro, if they, if they, like, if they do a percentage breakdown of the insides of your body right now, I think that you would be like 70% beer. <laughs> and what else? And like 30% water. I'm telling you, bro, my mom, like, she was like a nurse in Russia. And then when, and you, she when, is, when you come to America, like, your credentials are like scrapped. You basically have to go from scratch. But yeah. like, she knows a lot. She literally, when I when she picked us up from the airport, baby, what did she say exactly? But she. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh I'm fucking weird. She said, your friend always has a beer in his hand, doesn't matter what time. And I told my mom, I was like, mom, I was like, mom, you don't understand. I was like, because she knows I wake up like, you know, 11, 12. I was like, mom, he wakes up at 5 a.m. And drinks a yeah. beer. I was like, you don't understand. I was like, you don't see the half of it. Yeah, <laughs> oh. yeah shout out Listen. to Yuri's mom for recognizing a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for recognizing a good time, mom. And she I'm wasn't like, that. like, yeah, she, wasn't she wasn't like being like rude or anything. Like she was like yeah. talking about it like in a funny way. She was like, she was like, I watched, I was watching your stream, Yuri, and she was like, your friend just, he's always drinking beer. She's like, he <laughs> always has a beer in his hand. I'm like, bro, I bro, know. I was like, I, I know. I know y'all think that I'm joking about this. There had to be like maybe five years consistent where I had never seen this nigga drink water before, bro. Bruh. I seen him surfing water. You feel me? Okay, I forgot who was I talked to. It was like one of your relatives or someone who has known you since like you were a kid, right? Yeah. And they told me that they were like, I asked them specifically, I was like, yo, how long has Toke been on this like beer binge of just only drinking beer? And they're like, they're like, honestly, they're like, you know, he would always be drinking beer, but he's like, they're like, he really just was on this only beer diet, like ever since like two, three, four years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it wasn't like that. Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know why everybody thinks it's so crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> just three years of only beer. Yeah, it's not that bad. As I'm just taking a shot. Here we go. It, like, it's not like. I mean, listen. I just, I used to drink like, bro. I used to drink hard alcohol, and I was just like, oh, yeah. you know what? I'm only going to. Because you know what? You a silly like you. Once he gets really, really drunk, y'all really only seen him beer drunk for real. Once he gets like really <laughs> like drunk, alcohol drunk. Oh, he's he's he's, 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 he's a silly ass nigga. You feel me? <laughs> he, he fucking. Hey, but also at, he tucks at, himself under the blankets and starts tweeting about how niggas ruin. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, as as like you I know, can't believe y'all ruined my special day. <laughs> Get yeah, to, as as a person who likes to drink myself, right? Um, when we're especially like we've gone on so many trips together, it's insane. Or yeah. like RV, y'all niggas are like Vegas, y'all are all like really London. intertwined. It's crazy. I, bro, I really appreciate the friendship. And Riley and I, like Riley, has sometimes like cried going like i really appreciate oh ali my in my life ali's oh. such a good friend i'm just like and i agree with her like i really appreciate the friendship of of Pollard and ali because they really are good friends and you know what's funny is they talk about uh, i've seen it's like a, a common thing in conversation about relationship where relationships where like you know you have a good friend where if you you shouldn't be complaining about your partner to anyone right but in the situation that complaining you, or just or, or just, just like talking. venting, right? Yeah. You should. Why not? Why do you don't think that? Well, in some like it could be bad in a lot of situations, but realistically, if you do that to a, you know a friend, it's kind of like a vibe check immediately. If your friend immediately is like, "Yeah, fuck that person," you could do better. Or if your friend's mm. like, "Nah, come on, like chill out, relax, let's mm. kick it," like and then you'll work things out. That's the better friend. The person who's I like trying that. to fix things rather than be like dramatic and be like Listen. end it all blah, blah blah and that's why I really really appreciate their you know their friendships and stuff like bro, that bro bro me, me and the homie was talking about this yesterday so look I'm uh, this after Complex Con last year right I'm I'm on the um like I'm, I'm with the homegirl mm -hmm. so my homegirl's friend dates my homie <laughs> I, I don't want to say names because it's like you know yeah, I don't yeah. want to say names but redacted yeah re re redactation right so look so <laughs> basically the homie's girl is calling my homegirl like about some some shit she seen on Instagram about her her nigga or whatever, right? Yeah. And yeah. it was basically a picture of another girl wearing the brand that he works with, but like, you know, she's like half naked or whatever, and she's like complaining to the homegirl about it, right? Mm -hmm. And the homegirl's gassing her up like, oh, bitch, no, like, no, that's out of pocket, like, he got you fucked up, blah blah. blah. And I'm kind of just overhearing. I'm not really like paying attention. Mm -hmm. And but but remember, this is my homie that they're talking about. And I'm like, I know the homie not on some bullshit. So I tell her, I said, let me see the picture. Let me look at it. Yeah. They show me the picture. <laughs> the first of all, this picture is from two to three years ago before before he was even dating this girl. And then the cherry on top, the girlfriend was in the Wait. comments. The girlfriend was in the comments of the picture from two years ago, putting a fire emoji. But now she just wanted to be mad about it all of a sudden. And once I said this to them, they both were kind of like, oh, hee hee hee. And they like laughed it off. Yeah. And I'm just like, you was about to blow the homie up and tell him that he's tripping and all the shit about posting a girl on Instagram and this pic was from two years ago, yeah. bro. And you're in the comments. I feel saying like, fire emoji. Bro, it, it's crazy because it's- just, That's but, when I realized like, well. It, that shit is dangerous. We we that, re, we really the, the, the two the two like bitch. Da, da, da. Yeah, that's dangerous. It's spooky, bro. We really live in a different world. Where back in the day, you know, like my oldest sisters or whatever it is, 
if there was a situation in which like you know you're dating someone and then you didn't know that they dated someone else before whatever it is you wouldn't find out unless someone really told you about it or some random coincidence but now, happened but nowadays public. everything's documented every you know everything's like recorded or there's a photo or some shit like that and it really just you know opens up that book and honestly i kind of like feel like if anything it makes relationships like stronger and just conversations a little bit better because back yeah. in the day just leaving things in the air and not really I like addressing that. it can make it boil up to once you're 50 years old you just blow up and then 50 is on and then you like you know before that <laughs> you know it, sometimes it could happen that's even worse that's yeah. like a worst case scenario you wait to like fucking an old age to yeah. address something you should address that 20 type thing that's you know? crazy yeah. and like and that's where like i feel like instagram youtube all that other stuff is just like it plays it a just, role into it everything just plays a role into like making conversations happen immediately and quickly you know not facts but just know i gotta play my role though so less skedaddle i gotta yeah, play my role as well i definitely gotta play a role bedaddle as well hey i appreciate that is crazy episode 32 man right? let's go <laughs> no i said 59 earlier guys so we didn't talk about it earlier but basically toke fired blasey <laughs> <laughs> we took over that we took over the the sandbox and it's now the, to the toke sent him a message he's like it's over with too late it's over with asap hey listen we, we hopping in yuri's discord tonight Yes, let's go. I'm, I'm hopping, tapping in with I'm all hopping, I'm hopping on live in like an hour or two, guys. I'll see you guys there. I'm sorry I did not do a, a pre-connected. I got way too drunk, and I stayed up way too late last hey, night. Hey, tap into all of our uh, our streams tomorrow, man. All three of us will yeah, be streaming tomorrow. show. You feel me? Everything, man. Bro, this is going to be so much fucking content. It's going to be insane. It's going to be Bro, listen, grinding out, bro. All right, let's go. Toke right, is a weenie. Uh, I've been doing. Comment that if you guys made it to this point.